Oh my goodness. There we go. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown. Oh, wait, we're not even live yet. Oh my goodness, I forgot to hit live here. I'm so crazy. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live. It is Monday, okay? It is shortly after 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're starting a couple minutes late today, but it's okay. We had a great weekend here. And uh, what's up, Evans? Thank you for jumping in the show right away and saying hello. I uh, I was doing the intro for the show. I forgot to hit go live on the app, so I did like two seconds of the show. I'm like, oh, I got to restart. So uh, how are you? How was your weekend? Like I was saying, mine's been pretty phenomenal. We were straight chilling all weekend here. Um, <clears throat> we got a gazebo last year and we were looking for a replacement top for it. And I was looking on Amazon for one, but I couldn't quite find the brand that I wanted to, like the original brand. They didn't seem to have a storefront on Amazon. So I just went to the spot and bought the original one the one that is like designed for the frame obviously because it's designed for it it fits perfect and it's the first time like ever in my life that i had like a more like permanent kind of style gazebo outside it's like a big black metal frame with a nice top that you put on it it's 10 by 10 it's got little shelves in the corners i like it so much and uh we just spent the entire weekend out there now, uh, that's not entirely true, okay? I didn't spend the entire weekend out there, but uh, when we weren't out there, I was trying to make some shoppable videos this weekend. <clears throat> and man, my little handheld camera here, my camera is like not reading my memory card properly and it's saying, well, there's no memory card in it now. But when we put the memory card in it, it says file name not found. And so I've been trying to figure out all these workarounds for my camera that I use for shoppables and I've been unable to utilize it for shoppable content. So I think I'm going to have to go a different route. The camera looks really, really crooked today to me. Doesn't it? Doesn't the camera feel look crooked? I guess it's not a big deal because we're going to bring our product camera in soon. I mean, it's really crooked. We're like this, right? No, we don't. Come on. There we go. I mean, a little less crooked, a little less crooked looks a little bit better, but yeah, I was supposed to get some shoppables done and my memory cards are like corrupt or they're not being read properly by my camera. So I think I've got to devise another way to create some Amazon shoppable video content. So that's kind of like the only frustrating thing that I had uh, during my entire weekend. Like I said, we went and got the new gazebo top. We installed it. We chilled out under the gazebo in the grass all weekend. Mima and I had a swell time. We invited, <clears throat> excuse me, we invited a little bit of company over and we just chilled, man. It was really, really simple and nice. Water doesn't go away. Uh, yeah, so other than that, we didn't get up to too, too much. Which is unfortunate because I did have some other goals that I wanted to accomplish, like get the camper onto the truck and pull it out of the driveway for the first time this season. But I think that's looking like it's going to be a next week kind of job. All right. Now, if you are one of the three people that the app is telling me is watching right now, feel free to say hello in the chat or anything for that matter. Uh, if you are watching the show and you're looking at me right now, right here, okay, and you have not unmuted and followed the show, consider doing that. Hit that unmute and follow button. We are currently on the road to achieve 3,000 followers on the platform. And uh, today we have 2,865 followers. So I'm just trying to reach that goal of 3,000 followers. If you know anybody that isn't watching Amazon Live, Tell them about it. You're out here watching it. If you like it so much, why aren't you telling some people about it? Uh, do you like to enjoy Amazon privately? You know what I'm saying? We would like to expand more globally, right? So a bigger outreach here on Clown Live here on Shopping Dragons is kind of our goal. You know what I'm saying? So 3,000 followers, that's what we're trying to reach. If we can even gain one new follower today, that would be absolutely 
phenomenal. Now, one thing that I did neglect to mention that I do want to say right here, right now to you is this, okay? My name is Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake, and you are watching Clown Live. This is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. Okay, now, uh, did Blake enjoy your weekend? Yeah, that's the, literally the only thing I've been talking about since I started talking on the at today's show. We went and bought a new gazebo top. We put it on. You know what? I took a picture of it, and I want to share it with you all, so... Uh, my show, my rules, right? We can do whatever I want. And uh, what I would like to do is share with you that picture. So let me grab a... Um, link. Sorry, you know, I, I'm checking my Facebook Messenger. And uh, aren't we all addicted to social media? I immediately was checking an unchecked message. But that's not what I want. I want to show you the gazebo. And uh, I think I have that picture here. Yes, I do. So let me right click and open this in a new image. Uh, let me open this image in a new tab is what I meant to say more accurately. And then let's pull this one down here. And uh, yeah, this is it. I'm going to show you my a picture of my backyard here. <clears throat> in just a moment, I just got to share my screen with you all here. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so here's the image. I mean, it's just a simple, it's just a simple thing, right? The, uh, the image, it's just a gazebo. But uh, I had the metal frame for the gazebo pretty much all of last season. And, and I bought, excuse me, I bought a replacement top for it. I bought a replacement top for this gazebo last year, but the replacement top that I purchased was a double tier and I needed a single tier um, design. And so instead of like losing more money by returning it back to Amazon, I ended up just like reselling it for a little bit less than what it would have cost me to send back the return. Uh, so that was cool. And then I ended up spending that money on something else. So all last season, we did not prioritize it, right? But I got some taxes back and I was like, you know what? We should just do this. It's going to be nice outside. Uh, you know, it's only May right now and we'll have several, several months of great use out of this. So this is it. This is the gazebo. We got the swing back there with the chairs and the table. Loving it. Loving it. The grass is a little bit low on one side. You can kind of notice that on the right side where the swing is. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's such a comfortable place to be. And, uh, I had a lot, a lot of fun out there chilling. Okay. Now let's switch back to this camera here and stop sharing this screen now with everyone. And let us do this. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Back reoriented my monitors. Here we are clown live. It's Monday. Uh, we've been live for about seven minutes. If you don't know, okay, what we're here to do, let me tell you, we're going to talk about all these products on the table today. We've got a nice little product camera that we've set up. Let's go ahead and import that camera. Now let's put our desk down a little bit first so that we can hide these uh, from view a little bit more. Now, I apologize if that was a little bit loud uh, rumbling through the desk. <clears throat> but I found it very necessary to do. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring our product camera into the shot. Uh, wrong orientation. Let's give them one of these. And uh, yeah, I do like that even though I move over here and then my arm doesn't connect, it just there's something not right about this shot, right? Yeah, I don't like that. So we're not going to do that. All right, let's go with the classic view. And as always, let's pop open our OBSBOT software after we're live because we always forget to open it. And then uh, and then we're going to talk products. We're going to talk about this Ugreen 65-watt USB-C charging brick. And uh, this is all right. Um, tracking, that's why we open OBSBOT. So go ahead and track me now. Here we are. Uh, let's begin. Let us begin the show. 
<clears throat> now the U Green fast charger, uh, two USB Cs, one USB A port on this with up to 65 watts max charging. We're gonna unbox this for the first time ever on the show today, and then uh, we're gonna talk more about it in depth at a later date. The input is up to 240 volts. Okay, USB C output uh, ranges from five volts, three amps, all the way up to 21 volts. 3 amps, 65 watts max, okay? And that's going to be the same output for USB-C port 2. And then USB-A is going to be 4.5 volts at 5 amps, ranging all the way to, I guess, 12 volts, 1.5 amps at 22.5 watts max. So that's for – that. those are just different power um, outputs for usb C devices. So up to 65 watts max, excuse me, up to 65 watts max is going to be a pretty uh, fast charger where I put my knife. I have a knife here. Saw my knife, misplaced my knife. Okay, that's pretty great. Let me grab like a, a steak knife then, I guess. Dude, my products come this way. My products are so unorganized, man. I need to get my products organized big time. Okay, let's open up this uh, Ugreen fast charger, this 65-watt fast charger. Uh, yeah, this is nice. I like that you can plug it in the wall and, and turn one wall outlet into three different outlets that offer fast charging. Uh, okay, pretty straightforward box. Now let's get this down on our product table here. <clears throat> yeah, there's not going to be much in the box, you know, by way of cabling or anything like that. There's just a little instruction manual in here. And uh, here's the device. Let's unwrap it. Let us unwrap this device, okay? How do we... Is What is this? Everybody proof? Come on, man. Here we go. All right. Feels... Nice. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like uh, the opposite of cheap. It's got really nice rounded edges. Here, we'll hold this down here, actually. <clears throat> has really nice rounded edges on it. I think it's oriented this way. Yes, it is. So you have your two USB-C ports on the top and a single USB on the bottom. All right, I'm going to come back over here, though, all right? Uh, it actually flips down to plug into the wall. So you can flip the plug outlet up and make this very compact. So not too bad, not too bad. Two USB-Cs up to 65 watts and a USB-A port up to, what did, What are we learning about this? Up to 22 and a half watts max. Very good. Okay, this is the Ugreen 65 watt USB-C charger, okay? And normally $40. Today, this is on sale for 25% off of its average retail value, making it available for $29.99, $30 today for the Ugreen 65 watt charger. This has a little bit of heft to it. So you know that it's making electricity. Okay, I'm going to slip it back into its box though for now. And let's move on to the next product in my carousel. And this is going to be another product. <coughs> Excuse me. Another product that we have on deal today. This is going to be the Tagri. X08 in-ear monitors. Okay, these little earbuds are uh, the Tagri X08s, and they're 30% off today, making them $35. They have, they come in a case. These are pretty standard fare for earbuds nowadays, okay? Now, what is fairly standard? Well, you're going to get six hours of playtime out of the earbuds with, I believe, up to 24 hours or 30 hours further of charging with the case. The case has a USB-C um, port on the bottom and includes a USB to USB-C cable to be plugged in. Uh, when we open the device, okay, when we open the battery charging cable, uh, the battery charging cable, excuse me, when we open the battery charging case, all right, the purple headphones are in there. We pull them out and they immediately want to pair. See that red and blue uh, light? They immediately go into pairing mode and you can pair just one and then when you pull the other one out, it will be paired already with this device, uh, with the uh, with the other earbud, okay? I like that it has a nice little 
uh, periwinkle or purple accent. They're very, very lovely looking. And they come in several different colors, such as red and blue, and uh, this periwinkle purple, for example. Now, finally, uh, <clears throat> well, there's two other quick things I want you to know about these. They do come with several different earbuds, okay, so that you can pick the size that fits you best. Rover, you can pick the size that fits you best, unless you want those $3,000 inflatable boys. Uh, and also, what I really love about some new headphones uh, nowadays is now, like more recently, I've personally noticed, is that they do have uh, like a readout on the front of them. And this is indicating that there is 93% left of the battery that is charging the Tagri X08. Uh, and we can see that both the left and the right bud are currently charging with those flashing light indicators. And one would make the assumption that they may, what, be solid once they're not charging or once they're done charging. Not entirely sure about that. Uh, the Tagri, <coughs> excuse me, the Tagri X08 is 30% off of its $50 retail value and available today to purchase for $35. Now let's take a look at the next product in my carousel. Now this is one that I'm real excited to test out during festival season. And my festival season is actually coming up my first festival is coming up in about a month, okay? And that is the month of July. Um, July, June 30th, I should be at my destination. And the opening gate for the event is July 4th. Like, I'm going six days in advance. It's going to be pandemonium. It's going to be so much fun. And uh, while I'm there, one thing that I'm excited to really give some attention to, I'm not sure if this is the exact right product for this or not, but I'm going to try it there. And what I'm saying is, uh, let's talk the Andobil selfie stick, okay? The Andobil selfie stick is MagSafe, which I think is like, I never learned MagSafe, to be honest. I was always, I'm going to look it up right now, but I think it's just an iPhone thing, right? MagSafe, is it only iPhone? Because I've always been like an Android kind of guy. Um, and uh, what does the MagSafe do? Does it hold the phone into MagSafe? A new family of quick attach accessories for iPhone 12, AirPods, third gen, MagSafe charging, MagSafe. What is it and why do you want it? All right. All right, Belkin. I'll let you tell me what MagSafe is in real time. Uh, it says here. <clears throat> MagSafe is a magnetic technology from, why is this like this? Why are things like this? Okay. MagSafe is a magnetic technology from Apple, of course, built into the internal engineering of iPhone 14, 13, and 12 models. Okay. Originally created as a safety feature for MacBook charging cords, MagSafe was incorporated into the iPhone to create a new ecosystem of accessories for easy attachment and faster wireless charging. So, okay, so it doesn't make it stick better. It doesn't make it stick better. I didn't quite, okay, how does it work? MagSafe is a series of magnets placed around the iPhone internals charging coil, which senses other MagSafe compatible accessories and snaps seamlessly and securely into place. MagSafe will only attach to other compatible MagSafe accessories, so there's no need to worry about other magnets interfering or getting stuck to your phone. Very, very cool. Uh, now, it looks like it works for higher-end iPhones 12, 13, 14. I actually only have an iPhone 7. So I just wanted to go down that interactive shopping experience with you. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to drink some water here. I just wanted to go down that interactive shopping experience road with you and, and learn in real time what MagSafe is. And uh, I guess that's what it is. It's a series. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. My voice is. Uh, I did not sing before the show today. And now my voice is not warmed up. I feel like it's cracking a bit. <coughs> All right, MagSafe anyway is included in the Andobil 63 and a half inch selfie stick. Now this selfie stick is pretty massive. It's uh, 63 and a half inches. Has a pretty simple looking like plastic dial, okay, that you loosen, and it's just like a, a ribbed kind of connection here to set the angle that you want to set 
your phone at and then just tighten it to hold it in place. Now, what is phenomenal here about the selfie stick, stop tracking, is uh, is how truly long it is. And I want to show you that now. So 63 and a half inches is uh, nothing to scoff at, okay? Uh, well, 12, 24, 36, 48, right? Uh, um, 60. So this is like just over five feet, five foot, five foot three. Did I do that math right? Did I say 50? No, I said 60. 48, 60. So five feet, five feet, I guess, three inches. And uh, yeah, anyway, so about five foot three, a little more than five feet. Look at the range on this, okay? I've got the selfie stick like in front of the camera and I'm so far back from the, uh, we'll step over here. I'm so far back from the shot, you know what I mean? could literally touch this camera in front of me. That's how close we are. With 63 and a half inches of reach. Now, when we loosen this and put the camera mount in a more upright position and make it straight, parallel with the ground, the endo build doesn't really act like a monopod because it will collapse if you put a bunch of weight on it, okay? It collapses quite easily. Uh, but it does hold the shape that you put it into. It only collapses when you add the appropriate amount of force. But what I'm really getting at is, and why I'm standing back here, is I want to show you the 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 tripod ability uh, that is included with the selfie stick. So whether it's extended to its full length of 63 and a half inches or not, uh, you can grab the top of the selfie stick grip and pull down, and this is going to make a tripod. Isn't that awesome? And the tripod then sits on the floor. See that? And uh, and I like this. I like this a lot. I like that it's pretty much uh, not a little bit tall, shorter than me, okay? I wonder if I have this thing fully extended. Yeah, I do. So, yeah. So, like, this is five foot three, apparently, uh, uh, 65 and a half inches, or 63 and a half inches. This is five foot three and a half, Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now, one final thing that I want you to know, a couple other things, as always, that I want you to know. Hey, what's up, Blue Checkmark? How you doing? I'm doing great. Whoop, whoop. Much clown love to you. Uh, Sean Jones, we are just talking selfie sticks. Sorry, I didn't get to your message earlier. I was just kind of standing across the room, the room here. <laughs> but, yo, look at this thing. This thing is on the ground, and it's, uh, and it's next to the top of my head. So what's great about this is that, okay, it's so tall at that 63 and a half inch mark. And when you have your phone, whether it's MagSafe or an Android phone clipped into this, you do have the ability to move it um, 360 degrees in orientation. It's really easy to press the button on the back to snap around your phone and hold it in place and then just pinch the back to open it, okay? Now there also is an included carry bag and the carry bag does have a small accessory kit in it so uh it does include like a thing that is like an adapter to make your phone mag safe which seems kind of interesting to me <clears throat> excuse me all right two things two more things about this selfie stick because i'm really obsessed with how big it is uh i love that and it's kind of far away here to see but uh I love that it has the quarter inch on it, okay? So it actually has one on each side. So you can mount a ring light to this, you know what I mean? Like it's not going to be the most stable tripod i ever seen in my life, especially when you have a little more weight up here, like a ring light and a, and a cell phone, you know? But, uh, but if you know that you're going to be in a stationary area, then this is just fine. This is just fine to uh to facilitate the ring light if you're just going to be standing here talking in front of it you know what i'm saying like this then it's not a big i guess my back was turned if you're just going to be standing here talking in front of it there's no wind and uh you're good you're good to go you know what i mean all right now oops i hit my fan here i actually turned my fan on i think i just turned it off there we go. Okay. Oops. <laughs> my selfie stick is so big that it caught my 
thing. Uh, when is the ICP festival happening? It, the gathering of the juggalos is happening in Thornville, Ohio. Uh, gates open for early pass ticket holders on July 4th, but the actual date for general admission tickets is going to be July 5th to July uh, 8th, right? From, from Thursday to all, uh, from Thursday to Saturday, right? I'm pretty sure it's Thursday to Saturday because Sunday's the ninth and they don't do shows on Saturday. Uh, they don't do shows on Sunday anymore so that people have time to drive home on Sunday. They do the big show on Saturday night. Anyway, I was just actually talking about that show because uh, we were, we were uh, discussing the idea of using this at a festival. I did kind of transition into the idea of using it at home, but wrapping up anyway, what I was saying about the Endobill selfie stick is that once you collapse it, <laughs> and it doesn't even need to be collapsed, but I just find that it makes it easier. Once it's collapsed, you just you don't even have to pinch. You just have to hold it here, and it collapses, right? Now, you can click it shut. See how it's still opening? You can click it, shut, and now uh, it's going to take just a little bit of force to pop that open. Finally, finally, I'm spending too much time on the selfie stick right now, but it just has so many great... Um, uh, features that uh, are available that I really like covering all of it. So finally and quickly, it also includes a little Bluetooth remote control that you can pair to your device. And you click this button to start a video or take a picture. When the button, <coughs> when the remote is not in use, you can simply simply slide it back into the selfie stick and it clicks and locks into place. And uh, it's really easy just to pull out from the bottom. So I love that feature as well. All right. Violent Jay's coming to Houston, Texas on June 11th. What is the uh, what is the event that's happening there? Is, he, is it the Three-Headed Monster Tour with Esham and Ouija Mac? Is he going to Houston for the Three-Headed Monster Tour? I think the answer is yes. All right. Now, even though I put the Andoville selfie stick away, that doesn't mean I don't want to tell you about its price because we are – Trying to sell these bad boys today. Thank you to the person who clicked through the carousel. The price on the Ando Bill 63 and a half inch selfie stick with built in tripod is $70. Pretty big. I've never seen a selfie stick so big. All right. Now let's talk about the next product in my carousel, which is another great Ando Bill product. This is going to be the Ando Bill bike phone mount. All right. So let me pop this box down here. And uh, let's see, uh, you know, your info, that is what it is. The three headed monster tour. Yeah, that's cool. Are you, are you a juggalo, Sean? I forget. I forget if you had said yes or no in the past. And if you are, are you plant? Well, you called it the juggalo. What did you call it? You called it when is your ICP festival happening? So I'm going to politely assume that you're not, not like considering yourself to be a juggalo and that's all good. I ain't saying nothing negative about it, but um yeah, that kind of description kind of sets it off. Uh, there's, I don't, I didn't even look at the tour dates for Three Headed Monster Tour. I don't think that there's a Michigan date. And with the gathering of the Juggalos coming up, like in July, I'm just kind of putting like all my Juggalo eggs in that Juggalo basket. <coughs> so, uh, so that's where I'm at with that. You know, if there was a Michigan spot, I probably wouldn't make the date. The gathering of the Juggalos is very early this year, happening the first week of July. Uh, it hasn't happened in, uh, in, at a date like that for quite some time. Usually we're a little more, I don't know, fortunate. We're a little bit more fortunate enough to get it a bit later in the season. Usually we get it like at the end of July, uh, leading up to like mid-August is usually when we get it. So very, very early this year. I can't believe that I'm going to be embarking on my journey to go there uh, very soon in about 30 ish days, I think is the, is the depart date. The, like I said, if you have like the uh, special camping pass, you can get in early on July 4th and I have one. So I'll be doing that. But even though I get in a day early, I'm still showing up like six days early. Uh, we're going to show up on the Friday afternoon, um, before they open the following Wednesday for us at 6 PM. And we're just going to hang out in the parking lot. It's a big, it's a big field. So it's not like paved or anything. And I've got a, a large camper that accommodates much um, comfort, right? So we're I'm, I'm going to pick up one friend this year to do that big six-day parking lot party with me. And then our whole crew is going to show up through the week 
and we're going to, uh, we're going to get wild. I'm really excited. I'm getting so excited. It's uh, it's awesome that you talk to me about it now because I love talk. I'm so distracted, but I love talking about it. I'm not distracted at all. Uh, I'm just on a different tangent right now and I love talking about it, but, um, I was literally just spent like a two hour conversation with my friend who I'm going to be camping with. We just talked all about it, what we're doing, how we're getting ready, what our travel plans are. I'm going to meet him and pick him up. And uh, yeah, I'm super, super stoked about it. <clears throat> you know, your info, it is that. I know some of their songs, but I wouldn't say I know a lot. Are you going to go stream while hanging out at the trailer? Um, so here's the thing. Let me talk about the phone mount, and then I'm going to talk about the phone, okay? Because <clears throat> I, I'm, uh, if you have forgotten or didn't know, I am a Canadian. Um, I am a Canadian, right? So... So I don't understand the idea. Like, I don't want to seem like stupid. I, I'm not stupid, but uh, just I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm misinformed. I'm trying to do my own due diligence. And I genuinely don't understand if you can or cannot do this. I am Canadian. Can I walk into a store and buy a Paygo phone? Do I have to be an American citizen to own a phone in my own name on Verizon or T-Mobile? Because I was looking at a... Um, I was looking at what I believe to be is maybe a new service. It might not even be new. I don't know. But the, but the cell phone company is called, it's named Visible. And they have this uh, $25 plan that is unlimited 4G uh, uh, data. And that's what I feel. That's all that I need in America is data. I'm not calling anybody on the phone. It, for what it's worth and what I'm doing, actual phone calling feels quite archaic. And so I just need unlimited data so that I can have access to maps and messenger so that I know where I'm going and I know where my friends are. That's basically it. And then with unlimited data, I would like to do some streaming, of course. Uh, and that is the reason full circle why I'm talking about these plans. Now, my homie that I was just telling you about that I was talking to, he was telling me, he was telling me that Boost Mobile right now has, uh, you don't even have to sign any contract. You can sign up for one month if you want and then just cancel immediately after if that's what you want. <clears throat> so what I, what I think I'm doing, what, what I'm looking at right now today, it's new information to me today, is Boost. Boost apparently has a $25 plan. <clears throat> I have a $25 unlimited data plan and uh, I don't care what network it's on because they have a 50% off new signers. So I think that's probably going to be my better option than the visible plan. Uh, this 50% off $25 unlimited plan from boost for 1250. And I think if I do that, I'm going to figure it out. I'm either just going to have like an American homie sign me up that phone with their own name or I'll figure it out in my own name. I don't know. But I got my own phone. It's the iPhone 7 that we use for the show. And uh, um, so I don't need to get a phone. I'm spending so much time on this phone stuff, but it's okay. We'll do what we want. It's already 540 and we talked two products. Two products. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Anyway, no problem. We're going to be hanging out a little bit later tonight on the show. I can tell that. But wrapping up my excitement about the idea and the concept of streaming, which I do love engaging in the conversation. Uh, if I didn't have to talk products, I'd talk all night about whatever. Um, but to recap, looking for a phone. Don't know if I can get my own because I'm Canadian in America. Boost Visible. Visible is 25 bucks for unlimited 4G coverage. No contracts. You can end after the first month if you want. But then Boost, similar thing, but it's 50% off for $12.50. So I think I'm going to wait until after like June 10 or June 15 and then get somebody to get me that SIM card. And then I'll just get that SIM card as soon as I get to America, put it in my unlocked iPhone 7, and then have all the data that I need for the whole week that I'm in America for $12.50, I don't think that there's going to be anywhere else that I can beat that specific 
price, you know, and, and for what it's worth, again, I only need it for that one week that I'm in America. You know, the problem with being in America, I'll just wrap it up with this. The, the idea behind wanting to get the cell phone is $12 and 50 cents for the SIM card. It costs me 12 Canadian dollars a day, which is basically like nine or 10 bucks. Uh, it costs me like nine or $10 a day to use my Canadian phone in America on top of my regular bill, which is almost like $80. So just like laying out the cost of the phones and the budget that I have set forth for the festival, $25 or $12 and 50 cents is like phenomenally a better rate than paying roaming charges while being in America with my Canadian phone. And in summation, I only get 20 gigabytes of data a month on my Canadian phone. That is not enough to do any streaming. And uh, if I do end up achieving the goal, I know that you're here pretty often, Sean Jones, blue check mark. So I will for sure ask me again near the end of June, uh, if you remember, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and we'll connect in the Dragon Blogger Discord, and I will send you the link to where you can watch the live streams. Because if I get a phone, and I'm done now, I'm done right now, because if I get a phone that has unlimited data, I'm going to be trying my best to do unlimited streaming. Even if they give me a 50 gig data cap or, or a 40 gig data cap of high speed, and I still have to use low speed to stream, we're streaming, baby. All right. Enough of all that. Thank you for engaging with me in that. I could talk about it even further if I wanted. Um, okay, let me catch up on a couple of quick comments. And then we're going to jump into products right here and play a little bit of catch up. Okay, I'm derailing the stream with ICP Talk. No, you're not. No, you're not. I know some, but I wouldn't say a lot. Are you going to stream or hang out at the trailer? Yes. Don't apologize. You like something. Thank you for the validation. I think you should be able to sign up. I'm not sure. Check Mint. Okay. I checked Mint and the deal with Mint is they, I forget the price, but it was an acceptable like 20 or $30 price. But basically from what I looked at, Mint wanted you to sign on for three months minimum. And I'm not going to be there for, I'm not even going to be there for three weeks. I'm going to be there for 10 days, you know, so mint didn't seem to be the right one on my option, uh, board, you know, and today, like I said, one more time, I learned about boost for 1250. So I think that's the move. Happy Memorial day. Is it a holiday? What's Memorial day? Is that for people that did service in the military and stuff? Sorry, I'm derailing the stream. No, dude, I love that. We could talk about ICP. I'll be all official today. It's normally me that sidetracks. Thanks for picking up the slack. No, you guys are good. Maximilian. Maximilian's in the chat. He said, sounds like a killer deal, to be honest. Yeah, $12.50 does sound like a killer deal. Even like I said, if they if they cap the high-speed data at like 40 or 50 gigs, that, I'm straight with that. I'm straight with that. I'd probably figure... I probably figure at a, at a standard definition or maybe a 720p definition video, if that's what I'm even pushing out through a cell phone, I've estimated that uh, an hour an hour is about a half a gigabyte. I think that for me streaming for an hour costs me about a half a gig of data. I think that's close to accurate. I haven't done the math in a while. All right. Oh, Vicious Vegan. What up, though? I hope that you're doing very well. Memorial Day is for remembrance of the military members who lost their life uh, in service of the U.S. Oh, nice. Well, happy Memorial Day. <clears throat> Excuse me. I shouldn't say that with a raspy throat. <clears> throat> Pardon me. Happy Memorial Day. Uh, and uh, thank you to the people that served um, in the military. Uh, your services appreciated by everybody. I'm certain. Got my generator today. Nice. I was just uh, talking about that the other day. Um, let me see. What was I saying about it? Hey, you know what I was saying? I was saying that I was talking to my boss uh, saying that you made the get, you got the get. 
and uh, and then we went and 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 checked the sales things, and we noticed that it was accurate. So thank you so much for that, man. That turnover is so great. So you got your um, you got your uh, River Two. You bought the River Two. Now let me talk about the Andobel bike phone mount right now. We're gonna get it out of the way here, and then we're gonna jump right into the River Two while Vicious Vegan is here, and then we will resume our normal carousel of items. Okay. All right. The <laughs> thank you, uh, Sean Jones, blue check mark for engaging with me about the ICP. We can talk about it as long as you want, whenever you want, including even more right now, still. Okay. So let me know what's on your mind. All right. The Ando Bill bike phone mount is pretty fantastic. It has what I would consider Ando Bill's standard phone mount deck. Okay. So you have the deck for your phone, and there's a button here on the side that when you press it, extends the sides. And then you place your phone in and just pinch it shut with your fingers to uh, tighten the grip around the phone. Isn't that nice? It has kind of like a ball. It has like a ball hinge that is easy to remove. Okay. It just has this little uh, recess that is threaded for this ball mount. Okay. Ball mount. And you put the ball in and then you tighten, I guess, this little lock nut. <clears throat> and tightening the lock nut allows you to give a variance of friction on the on the amount. So if you want it loose, you can have it loose. You can tighten the uh, the mount in the back here, and then it'll make that grip a little more tight. Now it also has this kind of threaded key on the top that when we open this, this is going to open a giant claw. Have you ever seen a claw this big to be a, a bike mount? I really never have, but I think that it's fantastic design. Okay, it has textured rubber inlay on both the top and the bottom of the grip. And uh, and it's just really easy to key down, all right, uh, twist down and lock into place. Now I'm gonna give this a little tighten on my finger. Please don't do it, I just don't have a bar. But uh, yeah, like on my, on my water finger, okay, uh, it ain't moving, it ain't moving. And it feels really tight and uh, I could tighten it even more. I'm not going to, I don't wanna hurt myself. But uh, I love that it feels like it's going to be a really tight grip. And not only is this good for a, a bike, but I believe that they also advertise that the Andobil bike phone mount is also good for motorcycle mount as well, which is very, very cool. Now, finally, okay, finally, the uh, the bike, the Andobil bike phone mount does come with these little silicone kind of like nets. I'm not really sure what to refer to them as, but they are coming in different colors and the different colors represent different sizes. And I guess they just like go around the back. I guess they just go around the back and then stretch over the front and grip onto the upper corners of your phone and offer just a little bit more security by pulling your phone tighter to the Andobil phone mount itself. <clears throat> Um, okay, so the Andobil bike phone mount then is traditionally $37. Today, it's available at 19% off, making it $30 today. All right. Uh, now, Vicious Vegan, I appreciate you, what you're saying, but you're not derailing me. I definitely have to talk about the product anyway. And I'm thinking in my mind, I'm thinking in my mind as a content creator that while I've got you here now, we should talk about it right now while you're here. Uh, uh, as a content creator, I would not enjoy the idea. I don't think that I would like the idea that, well, you left and now I'm talking about it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Just like trying to make a connection and an engagement as a content creator. But no, man, you're not throwing me off of my, you're not throwing me off. So what do you think so far about it? Let's jump to it right now. We're going to talk about it right now. Let me jump to it. Uh, uh, I think it's looking like it's closer to the end of my carousel today, but that's okay. We've got it here now. Let's talk. <clears throat> let's talk the EF EcoFlow River 2 Portable Power Station. Uh, also, let's have the camera track us again. Excellent. Now, the EcoFlow River 2 Portable Power Station is exactly that. It is a portable power station. Look, I've got a drink smudge on mine. Uh, that's the dirtiest I've ever had mine. And uh, we don't even need to worry about dirt with this thing because it is so tough, okay? It's so great because not only is it a portable battery that is 256 watt hours, but it is also a very durable battery that operates in wet conditions, but it's not IP uh, rated, I don't think. 
but it does operate in good wet conditions, cold conditions. It has been uh, EcoFlow put out a video about this thing where they were lighting it on fire. Okay. They were melting it with a torch and it still worked. It still worked. I've seen the demo video from Nader. The thing can take a beating. Yeah, that's right. Sean Jones, uh, blue check Mark. I've, through, uh, I played that video on these streams here as well uh, months ago. I used to show that. And uh, yeah, they throw it down the stairs. They tie it to the handle and drag it behind a truck. And it just keeps functioning. It's absolutely incredible. The EcoFlow River 2 today is $189. Are you kidding me? It's 35% off of its $289 value. Now, what you get for that is an incredible little machine. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice today. I just feel it really breaking. <clears throat> Apologize about that. Okay, uh, 256 watt hours. Now, when the battery is dead, okay, you can plug this into an AC wall charging plug and recharge from zero to 100% in under one hour. About 55 minutes it takes to fully charge this device with the included uh, AC port, okay? Now, it also has a DC port that supports the ability to plug this into your vehicle's car accessory power port or your cigarette lighter adapter. Also, it supports a 110 watt solar panel that is sold by EcoFlow. So specifically, oh, Nate, no, let me drop everything. Yo, Nate, what's up, dude? How you doing? Everybody misses you. Guess what? I'm part of everybody. Okay. I miss you, bro. And now I miss you a little less because unless it's a troll account, you're here. And I'm so glad to see you. What are, how are you celebrating your Memorial Day? Looks like you're taking some time to come and see us here on Clown Live, you know, uh, which is always presented on Sho uh, Shopping Dragons. And uh, yeah, I, I miss you all too. It's me. Good. I'm glad it is. I'm glad it's you, Nate. Um, we're just talking EcoFlow battery right now, but you get my full attention. It's not like I spent a half an hour talking about music festivals that I want to go to and cell phone plans. Uh, like I'm not on my fifth product in my carousel today. Just sat down for a little bit. I've been nonstop busy for like the past three weeks. Yeah, we know that you've been occupied because we haven't had the opportunity to enjoy any of your live streams. And uh, we all know that you've kind of taken a little bit of a part-time break but we're all looking forward to the next time that you have the ability to stream. And if I'm not putting you on the spot, Nate, do you know? Do you have do you have some time frame that you can share with us about maybe another live stream? Or is that more of like something that might be happening a little further down the road than we may anticipate? Here's a here's a question, Nate. What do you think is going to come back to Amazon live streaming first? Giveaways or Dragon Blogger Nate streams? Let me know what you think, and I'm going to finish just wrapping up here about the EF EcoFlow River 2. Like I was saying, it has the ability to charge from 0 to 100% when plugged into an AC outlet in under one hour, and when plugged into a DC outlet like in your car, or receiving maximum efficiency from the 110-watt solar panel that is compatible with this unit that you can obtain when you click through the carousel and navigate to the EF EcoFlow store. Uh, solar panel, like I think three and a half to four hours uh, under great efficiency. Giveaways are a Seth Curry long shot from coming back. Okay. You're, whoa, what a, whoa, that's a lot of information. Nathan, you just have a baby. Sounds like you're going through a lot of stuff. Well, I hope that you come back. I hope that you come back soon because everybody loves you. You are a top tier streamer on the platform and uh, I learned a lot from you and I couldn't be where I'm at here on Clown Live on Shopping Dragons if it wasn't for you just being so friendly and kind hearted and saying, hey, I'm just at work right now. Why don't you come hang out with me? If I want to come out with you, how come to hang out with you? I mean, you know the story, Nate. I'm going to start crying in a second about it because you just did so much for me, Nate. You're so good to me, Nate. I love you. You're my best friend, Nate. All right. Uh, all right. Now, like I said, you can charge DC this with solar panel. You can charge this via DC connection with a solar panel or that included 
cable that uh, you can use to plug this into your car's power port. On the front of the device, you have two AC power ports. One is grounded, one is not. And you have two USB-A ports as well as a USB-C port, which I believe you can charge in with the USB-C port as well. It also features a power accessory um, charging port, okay, which is like your cigarette car lighter adapter. This is going to be your DC connection. And what I really love is how simple it is to understand the display on the on the unit so we're just going to set it down here because even though it is light i've been holding it for a few minutes my forearm's a little bit burning okay now easy to understand we'll try to turn it out of the glare of the light we currently have 99 hours of draw but camera <clears throat> we currently have 99 hours of time left on our current draw which is zero watts uh and we have what does it say Looks like 76% remaining battery life. And the two triple digit numbers that are stacked on the uh, right side of the display are going to be power going in on the top and power being drawn on the bottom. I love my EF EcoFlow River 2. I did take this on a 0% charge up on a drive in my truck. We went three and a half hours like last weekend, I think it was. We went last weekend to the camping spot that's called Balls, Balls Grove. We had a nice time out there. And uh, this was dead. I plugged it into my vehicle's auxiliary power port and charged it up in the three and a half or four hours that it took to get there. All I know is that when I arrived, it was at 100%, and that was really awesome. We charged everybody's phones. Uh, the guys were like, yo, we got to get gas because we got to run the generator so that we can have some lights tonight. And uh, I was like, don't don't sweat the technique. I got the battery. Everybody charged all their phones and we got to run a bunch of lights off of it. And we were so comfortable with it. So the EF EcoFlow River 2 really is great for leisure. And it's also a fantastic option for uh, emergencies as well. And being able to support that 110 watt solar panel and harvest uh, power from the sun, you essentially can just keep going off grid, you know, forever. All right. Uh, let me catch up on chat and then we're going to move back in our carousel to go back to where we were at. Cause I just did EF EcoFlow river two for vicious vegan. Um, and before I wrap up and switch my carousel, traditionally the river two is $289 today, 35% off of that retail value. Put this in your cart today for $189. All right, let me catch up on this chat right quick, and then we're going to talk about our next product. Oh, Nate, don't say if I don't come back, okay? I don't want to hear that. But, man, it's really, really validating to hear you say, I'm happy to have passed the torch to someone as capable as you, my friend. Yo, well, I can't wait. I heard that Amazon Live is rolling out in Canada, and I'm hoping to reach like Nate status out here. It's going to be crazy. Do, do, do. We're all tearing up. I know I'm going to cry too. Life be crazy. It'd be that way. Yeah, life is crazy. Uh, I've been to Balls Grove. It had nothing to do with camping though. Sean Jones hit me up. <laughs> uh, he's in the trenches. Oh my goodness. Deep trenches. Thor at your door. Yo, Blank, how are you? Well, it's Blake, B-L-A-K-E. I'm going to go on on a presumption and say that your autocorrect did that. But uh, there's the apology. Sorry, Blake. Uh, not indicating that you needed to give one. I just seen it. What's up, Thor at your door? I hope that you're doing very well. We've been chilling so hard today. We've been fully engaged in the chat that we're like mad wicked behind on all of our products in our carousel. So I think I'm going to try to talk about another one right now. But while I'm getting it set up, tell me, how was your weekend? Nate, if you leave, please at least say goodbye so that I can say goodbye to you. Don't just click off and run away. Um, you know, I know that there's not really, it sounds like you're going through a bunch of stuff. I'd love to like engage and talk to you about it. But, uh, you know, we don't have to do that. But if you ever feel, Nate, like you'd like to talk to somebody that is like, you know, we're good. We're homies. You know what I'm saying? But we don't get to talk a lot privately. So I say this. If there's somebody that you'd like to communicate with, maybe outside of your regular circle of friends, you can always message me, bro. 
I love to talk and I'm a really good listener as well. So uh, if you need anything, Nate, let me know. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not kidding, Nate. I love you. I could not. You changed my entire life. And I think you get it. But sometimes when I verbalize it, it just feels like a, the, the, the classic cliche. Like there's not enough words in the English language to express the true gratitude that I have for, you know, you. You know what I mean? Like it's you, man. You mean so much to me. And I'm always trying to talk to you. But you're always so busy. I can't get your attention. So I'm just like, ah, just let him do his thing. Just call him out when he gets, when he comes to your live streams in six months. <laughs> All right. Now, um, let's see. Nate says, uh, I need my calves rub. Can you do that? Yeah. Don't you have the Billa talk chair anymore? But, uh, Hey, you know what? I will crawl right under the Billa talk chair. And I'll reach right out behind you, Nate, like this. Oh, where are we at? Right here? And I'll give you one of these, Nate. What do you think about that, huh? Da, 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 da. I'll get on the, on, I almost cussed, but I'll get on the Life Pro 4D rumble board. And I'll just be like, I'll just be like buzzing. And I'll be buzzing you and we'll just be buzzing together. It's going to be, it's going to feel great. All right. Let's talk about the excess stuff that we got on the table. All right, I think that I've got the right product here because this one has the three and a half millimeter jack on it. And uh, I think that's right. So buzz me, bro. Hey, no problem. Even though it wasn't busy, getting my attention is difficult because I'm part of the attention deficiency disorder sorry my eyes are a little attention i thought you said deficiency and i wanted to say deficiency but i know how to read okay i know how to read um yeah you're add for life that's cool man that's cool we can i'll still buzz you i don't care if you're paying attention or not oh now it is deficit gosh darn it all right listen this is the exa telcom h12 okay exa telcom is the office brand of popular Exa gaming headset creator company. You know what I'm saying? So Exa, Exa Telcom, Exa Telcom. Here we go. We got the Model H1. These little office headphones feature 40 millimeter drivers and pretty minimal uh, padding on the ear cup, but still some. Okay. And I think the same kind of extends to the top of the Model H12 as well. It does have some uh, foam in the headband, but for the most part, I would say. They're just like designed to be worn at the office. Now it does have a microphone that is positionable. Okay. You can put it in any position that you like. And this is a corded set that has an inline volume control as well as a mute switch. And this connects to your devices with a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. All right. We got to keep moving. So the Exa headset with microphone is $25, 69 cents today. Now, let's move on to the next product in my carousel. We're going to push through some of these Exa headsets a little bit faster than uh, what I might normally do. Because, like I said, while I love so much engaging in the chat, I do got to talk about these products. All right. So now we just talked about that one. So now we want to talk about this one, which is, okay, just to know if you break into my home and hear fortunate sun blazing on every speaker in the house, it's about to go down. A multitasking looking boost. They have Moto G 64G for $9.99. What they have Moto G 64G. What is the 64G for $10 for new customers? Um, don't forget uh, that the boost one that I'm looking at is uh, like a weird promo. And I clicked on one link and it wasn't the right link. I had to find the right link to find new members for $12.50 for one month. All right, this one then is going to be the uh, USB headset. Did I grab that one? I think I did. Yes, I did. It's right here. So we were just talking about model H12 by Exa Telcom. And uh, now we're going to talk about Exa H12, Exa Telcom H12E. Now these are easy to talk about because they are literally the exact same cushioned ear cups, cushion head pad. Uh, cushion headrest, excuse me, as well as included microphone and 40 millimeter drivers. It's the exact same headset. 
as model H12 that we were just looking at a moment ago. However, this one connects to your device with a USB cable. So, uh, you know, consider that. Also, the uh, the, the line, the, the cable for the H12E is more of a rubbery um, coated, plastic coated, okay, uh, line. While the H12 is a little bit more like nylon feeling and a little more fabric feeling. These are identical headsets, okay? The only difference is that one of them connects with USB and one of them connects with three and a half millimeter audio jack, okay? So if you want the USB headset today, it's $30. 64 gigabytes, yeah, but 64 gigabytes of data, 64 gigabytes of data, 64 gigabytes of high speed data for $10. Okay, well, okay, I hear you. Um, it's not unlimited, which sounds disadvantageous to me. Um, and then also I would like to know, is the all 64 gigs high speed? Is it all high speed? Wait, Blake, it was July when you went to that festival last time. Um, no, last year in 2022, it was in mid-August. It was in mid-August last year. Uh, it was... Um, August 3rd to the 6th. You got the picture right here on the wall. <clears throat> this one was from August 3rd to the 6th. I know it's kind of hard to see there, but the dates are just at the top of the page here. That is uh, this one. Now, generally speaking, that festival does pop off like the end of July or the beginning of August. Uh, so for this year, for it to be happening July 5th, it's very, very early in the year. I can't believe that I'm going to be leaving for that show now in like, you know, about 30 days because I'm trying to show up. I'm crazy, right? So even though the, I said this on the show earlier, even though the, the gate opens, I bought a special ticket where the gate opens a half a day early for me. So I get to get in on Wednesday, July 4th, I believe, at 6 p.m. I'm still showing up on Friday the 29th or, or the 30th. I think it's Friday the 29th. I'm showing up six days to just party in the parking lot until the gates open. I'm trying to get an EF EcoFlow 110 watt solar panel that is compatible with the River 2 because with the River 2, uh, Vicious Vegan, if you're still in the chat, I would just double down on that info real quick and say – that when it comes to the EF EcoFlow River 2, it does support that 110 watt solar panel that EcoFlow makes. Uh, and that is the only solar panel that EcoFlow makes that is supported by the River 2. Okay. They make other solar panels, but they're just not good for that particular model. So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to get the influence to say, hey, we would like you to review, you know, the uh, solar panel. So I'm trying to figure that one out. Hopefully I can do it in the next month. All right. It's a temporary phone. Yeah. I'm talking about phones and I'm trying to find cheap phones that have cheap phone plans. I have the phone. I got the iPhone seven here, but I'm looking for a cheap phone plan that allows me unlimited data. And I only have to sign on for one month, right? Cause I'm only going to be in America with this phone for like a week and I want to do some streaming with it. But then once I get the SIM card and I got a card, that is a plan. Then I could just call them and reactivate it whenever I want, I think. And that would be really sweet when I'm in America. I don't have to take my Canadian phone with me. I can use my American one. But yeah, where did a year go? I can look, I'm going to check my giveaway win document because it will tell you pretty much the, the time that around the time that we started chilling. And uh, yeah, it was around a year ago. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Let me let me show you this, Nate. Well, let me talk about it. I'm not going to show it. Uh, man, look at me. I'm sweating a little bit. My hair is in my face. All right. So October, September, August, July. Not in May. Not in May. The very... Okay, Nate. The very first giveaway that I ever won on Dragon Blogger was five dollars to my paypal and it says it is a paypal deposit consolation for winning prize but can't ship to canada amazon live dude so many notes about dragon bloggers that's so funny but yeah 30th of may i won five dollars from dragon bloggers that would be the
the first time that I ever won. And so has to be pretty close to around the time that I started coming around the show around May 30th. Uh, and because I'll, I'm going to keep talking about it, Nate, because I was doing like a lot of giveaways on the internet, daily giveaway entries, and I was always entering dragon blogger giveaways. Uh, but like, I, I noticed as I was, I would just like do giveaways that had nothing to do with live streams. I didn't even know about live stream giveaways or Amazon live. And, uh, so I, uh, I was always doing giveaway forms and like bookmarking them or, or just entering them if they didn't have like a daily entry. And I kept seeing dragon blogger, dragon blogger. I kept seeing it in this thing. And so one day, like maybe a couple weeks, maybe I finally just like read it and it says, Oh, you have to be in stream to claim. And so I clicked through and there you were on a, on a dragon blogger stream. So I wonder how many dragon blogger giveaways I may have won in the past before I finally started attending the uh, streams to claim in person. But yeah, around May, 2022, uh, May, May 30th, 2022 today, Nate is May 29th. So it's literally a year, a year. Wow. That's unbelievable that I would have known about you guys for a year, but I feel like you wouldn't have had like more note about me. The next thing that I won was from, Nate from Dragon Blogger, 11 July, five bucks. And then 13 July, James, $46. And then 14 July, Dragon Blogger, Nikita, 10 bucks. So very, very cool. You know, pretty much around the mid to the, I guess pretty much around mid July is when I started giving a lot of attention to Dragon Blogger as evidenced by this list of giveaway wins. And then I went away. I went away on the vacation, Nate, and uh, I left. I don't know what date I left, but there's a there's a gap in my giveaway wins because I'm I'm I feel quite fortunate and I do win things more than once a month. And so from 15 July 2022 until 20 August 2022, I didn't get the fortunate grace of winning anything. But I was away. I wasn't entering daily giveaways. I wasn't even hanging out on Amazon Live, really. I was only kind of just chilling on Dragon Bloggers. And then, uh, and then when I came back uh, on 21st August, I won Justin's Mystery Box. And that was 21 August. That was the only Mystery Box I ever got to win from Justin because, uh, because shortly after that, well, luck didn't play to my advantage. I ended up coming on your show and now here we are. So what an amazing, I love re re recalling that story and those memories. Um, you know, it's been at least a year that Dragon Blogger has been in my life and I love that so much. All right. Uh, by the way, 4th of July is also a thing here. I know Vicious Vegan, the parking lot party at the Gathering of the Juggalos is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, I really am kind to animals, mean to humans. Aren't we all? Nate, that's hardcore. Yeah. Uh, Nate, one time an ad on the internet told me I was the 100th viewer and I want a new car. All they needed was my social security number, address, mother's maiden name, and birth name. Uh, the, scar the car still hasn't showed up, but I'm excited for it. Uh, okay. One, sounds like a scam because they didn't ask you for a fingerprint. And when I won my car, which I also still haven't got, I did have to give my fingerprint and a blood sample. So I'm, I feel like since, since they didn't ask you for like all the information, you might want to be wary, okay, about that particular one. But uh, Vicious Vegan says I won a car. And Sean Jones says I won stickers. I've won a lot of stuff. I've won all kinds of stuff. I've won, <clears throat> I won watches and I've won tickets to NFL games and I've won security systems, and I've won all kinds of great stuff. The most recent thing, I'm not going to stick on giveaways any further, but the most recent thing that I won was a a whiteboard. There, Somebody was giving away a whiteboard, and like it's not in my carousel, so I'm not going to talk about it too long, but it is a whiteboard that has like an art piece in the front of it, and you hang it on the wall, and then it's a secret whiteboard. So the picture is always showing on the wall. The picture is always showing on the wall. And then you can open up the whiteboard and then you have like two, it comes with magnets and a bunch of stuff. It's just a whiteboard, but pretty cool. 
pretty cool. All right, yo, I wanted to push through the exa block, and I haven't even. It's already 616, dude. Jeez. All right, let's keep it moving with products now on the show, and we'll try to talk about a couple of them for a couple minutes. Now, the next one that I want to talk to you about is going to be the E900. Okay, the E900 is a gaming headset by Exa. We were just talking Exa Telcom office headsets. Now, here's the gaming side. The Exa E900s feature stereo sound. Okay, left and right cups have minimal padding. Okay, it's a little bit firm, the padding, but still, I've worn these and they're pretty nice. It also has a little bit of padding on the headrest as well. And what I really enjoy about the E900s, okay, is that they have a metal um, a metal connection to uh, attach the cup to the headrest, uh, which is branded EXA. I'm sweating a little bit. It's really hot in the house right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, like I said, these are stereo headset. Okay. EXA does offer some simulated 7.1 surround sound headsets. This is not one of them. It is connected hard lined that has a three and a half millimeter, okay, um, barrel connection to it to plug it into your device and also features an inline volume control and mute switch. And uh, yeah, I really like these. I'm not going to put them on because my head is sweating so much. I feel like I need to cool off. I'm getting so excited talking about gathering juggalo stuff. All right, so maybe I should send them my fingerprints too. Yeah, definitely. Just like, um, just like, take a pencil. I got to look at me. You can see me sweating. Okay, hold on. I'm going to grab a paper towel. But yeah, Nate, really, I think the smart move for you is probably, Nate, I think the smart move for you is probably uh, get the, uh, Get the fingerprint and send it in for sure. Take a pencil and just like scribble it on a piece of paper about the size of your fingerprint. And then, you know, I want you to take your fingerprint and take your finger and roll your finger in the in the uh, in the graphite from the pencil. And then just get a simple piece of scotch tape, maybe two pieces of tape and put them down so that's sticky side up. And then just give your finger a roll, right? Like that across the tape. Good. You can send that in. It's the best way. Best way to get a fingerprint, a little bit of graphite on your fingertip. Okay, man, I am feeling hot today. What is the temperature outside? Because I thought it was nice out. It's 83 degrees, which I think is quite warm. 83 degrees. I got the fan on in the back of the house, sucking all the hot air in on me right like next to me. I planned this out very well. All right. E900. What did we say about them? They're great gaming headphones that offer a stereo simulated sound. Oh, also they come with a microphone. Okay. And the microphone is keyed a little bit like with a piece of plastic. Uh, the microphone is keyed with a piece of plastic so that you can only put it in one way, the appropriate way. And it's just a simple mic on like a little wire so that you can put it in the position that you need it to be in. All right. The E900s are available today for $35. And that is going to be a 13% markdown from its retail value of $40. Now, Nate, I want to ask you this question as well, okay, if you're still in the chat, because I'm, I learn from you. I learn from you. And I want to know what you think. Do you think that it is appropriate? or inappropriate for me to round up the price by one penny. I find it much easier to say that the Exa E900s are available today for $35 instead of $34.99. And that's only really good at like the 99 cent price point. If it's like 89 cents or 64 cents or something that's not 99 or 98 maybe, uh, I'm gonna probably say the original number, but when it's 99 cents, I just round it up to the next dollar. What do you think about that? Let me know. Uh, live today from the sun, it's Blake. Yeah, I'm feeling, oh, from the sauna or the sun? I feel like I'm in a sauna on the sun right now. Okay, let's move on. Now, we're going to talk about the KYY portable monitor next. Dude, I got so many products here. 
And uh, this is just another one of those products that I love so much. And if you're looking to expand your real estate uh, of, of viewing on your workstation, you know what I'm saying? Like if you need more monitor space, then the KYY portable monitor absolutely is an option worth considering today. Oh, bye, Vicious Vegan. Thanks for coming out and hanging out today. Uh, come and visit. Oh, oh, Nate's leaving. Nate's leaving. All right, everyone. I'm gone for the day. See you later. Bye, Nate. Thanks for visiting me. You know, if you got some more free time and you like watching me, I'm live every day from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And by every day, I mean every weekday, Monday to Thursday. So maybe I'll get the opportunity to see it tomorrow. <clears throat> and if I don't, I'm going to send you a message on Discord and you better reply. All right. I love you, Nate. Have a wonderful day. Now, the KYY portable monitor, it is a 15.6 inch portable monitor. Okay. I love this thing. This 16, this 15.6 inch 1080p portable monitor is amazing because it has two USB C inputs and a mini HDMI input on it. Also, on the other side, it has a headphone jack because this features one watt speakers and also a rocker switch to navigate on screen display and a power button to power the device on and off. It also comes with this nice little screen protector that is kind of magnetized. Look at mine. Like it's so dirty. I got a stain on mine and uh, I love it. You know why? Because it's not on my monitor. This is doing its job. And uh, it's really great too, because if we just set this off to the side for a second and set the monitor down here, let's set it down with the label side up. We can actually open the monitor, okay? And then fold this flap over onto itself. It's magnetic. And this now creates a groove that we can extend the monitor out to. And it'll hold in place in a perfect landscape orientation. Uh, now there's no adjustability beyond this. And the back of the monitor is also magnetized, okay? And that's how it sticks well to the protective case. All right, I love the KYY monitor. Today, it is available for 36% off of its $220 retail value, uh, making it $139.99 today. Now, I've seen two people here click through the carousel, and I wonder, I wonder, is there still the $40 coupon on this? I believe that there may be. I'm going to go grab the Exa Air Comfy and maybe somebody can tell me if there is that $40 coupon still on the KYY monitor before we move on to Air Comfy. Air Comfy. Uh, two words, cold drink. Yeah, I got some cold water. Yes, there's still the coupon. Excellent. So the KYY monitor then is uh, traditionally $220 with all of the rebates today. It is 36% off making it $140 and has that additional $40 off coupon. So, you know, I reiterate furthermore, like that is a great deal. $100 for the monitor and you can connect your phone to that monitor uh, whether it's your iPhone or your Android device. Now, your results vary with that, so make sure you do your due diligence if your sole purpose is to hook the phone up to the monitor. Just look into it a little bit deeper because there are some limitations. But what I love it the most for is plugging it into my laptop uh, over a single USB-C cable, and that USB-C cable runs power and video to the monitor. Love it. One cable solution to extend the real estate of my workstation, especially when I'm on the go, like when I take my laptop out to my homie's house or uh, maybe this year for gathering of the juggalos if I'm editing some footage. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to take the laptop yet, but uh, if I did, I know that having the ability to uh, extend my to a second monitor would be a very powerful tool. Um, and it's super light. Okay, put it in your cart today for $100. Like, you can't go wrong there. It's going to make, hey, you know what? Let me just sell you the monitor one more time real quick because that $100 price point really is pretty phenomenal. Uh, for 100 bucks, I would say, if you find it to be budget-friendly, great for you. And for 100 bucks, makes a great gift. We might be the beginning of June now, but if you're big time into Christmas then uh, maybe a Christmas gift opportunity is presenting itself to you right now, you know? 
<clears throat> now I wonder what the prime deals might do for that though. I, I, I wonder when prime day is, has it been announced yet? Let me know if prime day 2023 has been announced yet. And now we're going to talk about the Exa air comfy. The Exa air comfy is a super light gaming headset. This is a stereo gaming headset and it connects to your favorite devices with a three and a half millimeter audio jack. Now, what is the Air Comfy? Well, it is Model E something, right? Model, Model, well, they just call them Air Comfies, but it's Model E4, E4. The, uh, the Air Comfies are really nice. They are the lightest headphones uh, that I believe Exa makes in their gaming headset, okay? These come in at 245 grams. 200, this says 263 grams, and so does the carousel. Okay, I thought I had a discrepancy previously. All right, Air Comfy is coming in at 263 grams. These are very light. They're not pinching. They have uh, a little bit of head padding on the top, but really, really nice ear padding on the uh, ear cups themselves, okay? The microphone pulls down and has uh, no line, no line uh, volume control. No inline volume control. So no inline volume control. Okay, my, my cable's a little tangled. But I don't hear that signature kind of like clicking sound. So, oh, yeah. You know why? You know why? Because I've only talked about the Air Comfies a couple of times. And it totally slipped my mind until I put them on and reminded myself. Of course the Air Comfies do not have an inline volume and mute switch. But you control the volume and the mute switch with the Exa Air Comfies on the rear of the left cup. So we actually have a little toggle switch here for the microphone mute as well as a volume control on the back as well. All right, the Air Comfies feel really nice. They are super light. Like I pick these headphones up all the time and they are just like really light headphones in general. But these 263 gram Air Comfies by Exa are exceptionally light in the Exa environment. Today, these are available for $50, and uh, July 11th, 12th is Prime Day. July 11th and 12th is Prime Day 2023. July 11th is going to be a Tuesday. July 11th will be a Tuesday because I come back from the gathering on Sunday the 9th. And, oh, man, that's going to be crazy. I'm going to just – I mean, this is a very easy job, but I'm going to be so tired and so tan uh, when you see me in July. Uh, I, I hope not. I hope not for my, for my own rest. Cause, uh, I'm going to be tired and uh, I'm hoping to maybe take like a day or two off when I come home. Prime's not been announced, but they're thinking it will be July 10 or 11 or 11 or 12. That's the day I get home from the festival, man. <clears throat> my voice might be completely blown out. You know, that's what I'm saying about rest because we do, so much yelling, you know, and whoop whooping and staying up late and then breathing hot air in the day and cold air at night. It's easy for my throat to just get destroyed. I've been doing this show for months and months and since October. And even for this entire show, I hear and feel the raspiness in my voice right now. I feel it. <clears throat> and there's nothing to cough out. It's just a little bit of raspiness. It doesn't hurt nobody. But I would think that after doing this show for uh, since October, that my voice wouldn't be sore or like strained feeling um, at all now. But I still get it. Usually I have to put on some music and sing for like an hour while I'm setting up the show so that my voice feels warm. It feels kind of warm right now, but still very raspy. All right. It's 630. Where are we at? Hey, Simon, got the Fantic car vacuum. Thank you. Sleek, efficient, happy to own and use it. You know, we noticed that we did sell a Fantic vacuum. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, Simon. Uh, I don't have the Fantic in my carousel today to talk to you about, but they are really great. Isn't it great on the Fantic how you can just unlock it and press the button to pop the top and dump out the dust or give it like an eighth of a twist or a sixteenth of a twist to remove that 120 milliliter dust bin uh, and pull the filter out of it. I love that when you pull the filter out that you can rewash that filter. Like you can wash it and rewash it and reuse that filter. And I'll give you another quick tip, Simon. 
uh, in case you didn't know about this, because I didn't know about this uh, for a while until I figured it out uh, on my own. Okay. And that's this, uh, clean the filter, <laughs> clean the filter because I was using mine and it kept like shutting down on me and I didn't understand why. And it was because even though I was dumping out the dustbin regularly, uh, I never cleaned between the metal shroud and the paper filter. So make sure that you grip that ring, pull that filter out, and then twist the metal piece off of the filter. And make sure you're not like doing that near your face or near things that you want to keep clean. Because when you remove the filter, it's going to be covered in dust. So when you wash your paper filter in your Fantic V8, make sure, again, I'm, I'm reiterating the same thing. Make sure that you remove that metal shroud from the filter before you start washing your filter. And also don't forget that once you've rewashed it enough times, it uh, it is replaceable when you need it to be. I think you still have it in your carousel. Looks like it's on the lightning deal right now. Did I put a Fantic V8? Oh, there is a Fantic V8 in my thing. You know why I said that? Because I didn't put it on the table. I'm going to go grab it. Where are we at though? We did air comfy. I'll just grab the V8. Hey, thank you, Simon, for pointing that out to me. I guess I, I guess that slipped through my, that slipped through my, uh, my eyes, my fingers today when I was setting up the show. Uh, I would have grabbed it when I noticed it though. So thank you. Got to go. Appreciate your help, Simon. You're so very welcome. Thank you so much for doing the conversion with us. Really, really love that. Feel free to come and visit anytime, every day, Monday to Thursday, live, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m or until we finish the carousel. We're going to be a little bit later than seven today. Okay, let's talk pluggable dock. The pluggable, the pluggable USB 3.0 to dual monitor docking station by uh, pluggable is pretty great. It's available for $119 today. And you know the drill. We've got mine. It's connected to my computer. I use it every day. It is my hub. It's my docking station that I utilize. And I know Pluggable makes some other docking stations and uh, I'm interested to test those ones as well. But for now, we're talking Pluggable USB 3.0 to dual monitor docking station. As I said already, we do have it right behind the laptop, but we're going to talk about the box. All right. Uh, on the rear of the Pluggable docking station, you have four USB 2.0 ports, a single ethernet out, uh, excuse me, Ethernet in, DVI out, HDMI out, as well as a display link cable that is included in the box and the AC power supply plugs into the back of this device as well, okay? And that plug's located on the bottom of it. Now, when you look at the front of the pluggable, it's going to feature two USB 3.0 ports as well as two independent jacks for microphone and headphone respectively. I love this thing. It's really, really good because it's a simple one cable solution to unplug from my computer. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a simple one cable solution to unplug from my computer. Oh, Sean Jones, you got to go too. Thank you so much for popping out, man, and talking to me about gathering today. I'm not joking at all. Please come to the show tomorrow or anytime that you like and talk to me about anything you like, man. I, I'd love so much. I'll stay live until 10 o'clock. If we're just chilling, talking and having a good time, I'm, I'm straight with it. So thank you so much for engaging with me today, especially about things that I really love, the festival and whatnot. And uh, I know you'll be back. So I'll see you the next time you come through, Sean. Have a good night. All right, the pluggable dock is great because it's a single USB 3.0 cable that plugs into your computer. It makes it easy for me to unplug and show my, like, unplug my two monitors and just take my laptop with me. And when I come home, I don't have to hook up a bunch of cables again. They're all plugged into the docking station. So I just take that USB 3.0 cable and plug it into my laptop and I'm good to go. I love that. $119 today is 23% off of. It's $155 retail value. All right. Now, the next product that I want you to see is going to be the Exa W1. Okay. The Exa W1 is an RGB headset stand. Okay. 
Uh, this headset stand has a nice metal bracket attached to it and features a top, a top mounting USB port. And on the front of the device, we also have uh, a USB port, a uh, headphone microphone jack, as well as a microphone jack and a headphone jack, okay? So two independent headphone and microphone and one that is uh, multi-purpose, as well as that front USB. It also has a little fingerprint uh, button here on the side that you just touch it and uh, it cycles through the colors of the RGB headset stand. Now, now we're taking a look at this headset stand and I'm telling you that it has USB ports and that it also has headphone ports and microphone ports. Why would a headset stand have that? Okay. Well, in this particular instance, the Exa W1, which is uh, affectionately referred to as the RGB headset stand, okay, is also a sound card. Now, this Exa RGB headset external sound card features 7.1 simulated surround sound. So you can literally plug in any of your device's uh, headphones into this RGB headstand, okay, and have a simulated 7.1 surround experience. So that applies to all the EXA products as well. If you're using the EXA E900, which is traditionally a stereo headset, you can plug it into the W1, okay? And the W1 is going to offer you that simulated 7.1 surround. Be certain that after uh, unboxing you do an installation of the, uh, of the hook here, that you download the software to enable that, Okay, that's 7.1 surround. All right, $37 today on the headset stand. Now, Simon uh, left. Simon had to leave. But now we're going to get into the Fantic, okay? And I did I did kind of like uh, sleep on this one. So give me a moment to grab the Fanta bag. Where did we put the Fanta vacuum? Where is the Fanta? Oh, here's the Fanta vacuum. And then where is our Fanta box? Oh, well, it's located right here under this bunch of boxes. So let me grab that now. And uh, yeah, Simon, even though you said you had to go, if you didn't go, here is the Fanta V8 Mate, okay? I'm so happy that you uh, could buy one of these and share us with us that you enjoy it. <clears throat> All right. What is the Fantic V8, mate? It is a wireless, okay, cordless. It's a cordless USB-C charged handheld vacuum. All right. Now, this handheld vacuum features a 120 milliliter dustbin and the ability to unlock and pop open to dump all your dirt out. All right. Now, you can also remove that dustbin and reveal the filter okay the filter is removable and then i'm gonna do it here even though i probably shouldn't close open okay so open this yeah so see how dirty my filter is see how dirty my filter is see all the dust bunnies and everything that are in there i gotta dump this out i'm gonna just dump it into here for now i guess i guess that's what we're doing nowadays uh, but yeah, Simon, I know that. You, oh, Tammy Kelsey started following. Tammy, thank you so much for following us here on Clown Live. Let me just stop Fantic for a second and say hello, Tammy Kelsey. Thank you for joining Clown Live. I'm your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. And uh, if you have just followed and you can hear the sound of my voice, please feel free to say hello in the chat. If you see me right here, right now, okay? and you can't hear me, then consider hitting the unmute and follow button. Uh, you know, that follow button is so important to us. We are trying to reach 3,000 followers here on Shopping Dragons. And with your follow, let's do a follower check now. I think we're at 2866. Oh, we might have lost a follower because it's still 2865. But that's okay. That's okay. New followers are always welcome. Whether they increase our goal or not, uh, it's all fantastic. So you're saying hello. Welcome to the show, Tammy. Please feel free to take a look through my carousel of products. And if there's anything that you'd like to talk about, 
let me know. If there's anything on Amazon that is not listed in my carousel here, then uh, let's talk about that. Also, let me know. But yeah, like I was saying to Simon a few minutes ago in the chat, because I've never really done this demo on the show before, uh, you can wash it. You can wash the filter with water, but make sure that when you wash it, you remove this metal shield, okay, or metal shroud. And it's really easy to put the shroud on. You just put it into place. It locks into place. And then you turn it closed, turn it closed. So good to go. Very easy to drop that filter back into your dustbin. And then just as easy to drop your dustbin back into your vacuum. Oh, I got it on backwards. My bad. Easy, right? There we go. So yes, Fantic V8 Mate has two speeds, low and high. It charges via USB-C and features an 80,000 RPM brushless motor. All right, we'll put this down here. I want to take a quick, quick look at the accessories that are included in this cinch sack, okay? The cinch sack is branded Fantic, and it also has a tag on it that says, <coughs> excuse me, V8 Mate. All right, now the accessories in the bag are very simple but and straightforward. You're going to have a crevice tool or an extension tool, excuse me. It comes with an extension tool, all right? It also comes with this expandable crevice tool, which is my favorite, favorite tool here. Let's track me over here, bud. How about that? Thanks. And then also it comes with standard fair, uh, head um, uh, accessories, okay? Uh, the vacuum head with the rubber nubs that slides off and has the uh, soft touch so that you can drag it across a hard surface, I think and uh, not scratch your surface. And it also comes with a brush attachment. Now, while the brush attachment is short, it does attach to the Fantic V8 as this, and also to the included extension, okay? And I realize we're not showing product page here, so let's uh, fix that. Kaboom, there we go. Uh, yeah, um, thank you so much, Tammy Kelsey, for hanging out with us here for just the moments that you're here. Uh, hopefully, we can entice you to Stay a little bit longer. And again, I encourage you, if you see anything in my carousel that you'd like to talk about, please feel free to call it out. We'll jump right to it for you. Uh, even if we've already talked about it, I'd love to tell you everything you want to know about it. Okay, now let's put these accessories away. And while we're doing that, let's understand that while normally $80 for the Fantic V8 Mate, uh, today it is marked 15% off. Uh, making it $68. So not a bad deal. Uh, I don't know if there's a coupon on this one or not, but uh, usually there, you, I would, I would estimate, I would assume that most of the time there is an additional coupon with the Fantic uh, V8 mate. And I'm going to guess, I have no idea. I'm totally guessing maybe like an additional 10 bucks, maybe an additional $20. Put this in your cart today for maybe 50, maybe 57. All right. Uh, but at least $68 today with that 15% off deal. All right, now let's talk about the OBSBOT Tiny. The OBSBOT Tiny 4K PTZ webcam is phenomenal, okay? It's the favorite. It's my favorite webcam. I've been making content for many years. I love making content. I love being in front of a camera, and I've just never seen a camera that can film me. You know, I used to think about having, like, gadgets that, like, were like trains, like children's trains or something that would like go back and forth on a track and give me some automated kind of like dolly action that I could utilize to enhance the shots that I was creating. But <clears throat> now I don't need that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now I don't need that with the, uh, with the, with the OBSBOT tiny PTZ 4k. Uh, why? Because it is a pan, tilt, zoom, 4K resolution webcam that follows me around the room. Look, it's following me around the room right now, okay? We see that it's following me around the room. All we have to do to enable that or disable that is hold up a hand like we're waving hello. And the OBSBOT instantly recognizes that gesture and immediately stops following us because we don't want to be tracked by the camera. And when it's time to re-engage, it's as simple as holding your hand up being recognized, and Obisbot is going to put me right in the center of the shot every time. What else I love about the Obisbot Tiny PTZ 4K is that it does pan, tilt, and zoom, okay? Uh, and you can have it follow you or zoom on you 
with those gesture base features okay uh it also comes with this nice box here that has a vacuum formed in excuse me oh pardon me <clears throat> excuse me it also has this uh vacuum formed inlay that allows you to place your obsbot tiny ptz in there and not worry about the gimbal being damaged uh during transportation uh normally 269 dollars the Obsbot Tiny PTZ 4K is available for 33% off, making it $179 today. Now, let's talk about what, like, usually I go back in the show and talk about, like, what has been some of my favorite products. But today, we're talking about, this is one of the newest products that I've got, and it has quickly, quickly risen to be one of my favorite products. This is the Life Pro Sonic Pro Percussion Massager, okay? Now, let me open this up here and just show you how badass this is, okay? Because uh, it is. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, let's have our Sonic Pro Life Pro, our, our Life Pro Sonic Pro Percussion Massager, okay? Look at this percussion massager. It's massive and it's available today for $100 which is 17% off of its $120 retail value. Now the Life Pro uh I'm going to call it the Sonic Pro, okay? The Sonic Pro is an excellent percussion massager. I love it so much. I'm actually going to use this one right now so you can do whatever I want. It comes with uh, uh let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 different heads I believe. 8 different heads. And uh, they all do different things, but it's all percussion. It has a nice little display on the back that represents how much battery life is remaining, as well as having a power button, okay? This is uh, to add time to the timer, which is a countdown here Once that engages once you start setting your speed. Now, you can have different speeds uh, ranging from low hertz all the way up to fast hertz. It goes from setting 1 to setting 15. And uh, it has a little barrel connector on the back to charge it with the included AC charger. But before we do the quick massage, I just want to show you that it has this button located on the side. And when we press it in, we can actually remove the battery, which is the entire handle of the Sonic Pro. And uh, what is interesting about this feature, okay, is that the, the, uh, the, the Sonic Pro battery also has a barrel connector to charge it. So... While this device in particular does not come with an additional battery, if you did have an additional battery, you can keep one on charge while the other one is in use. All right, I love this thing. I just crank it all the way up. I, it can get pretty loud, but it's so comfy. Oh, man, this one's going to murder me. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Dude. I love this thing so much. This is where I get like bad migraines in the back of my head. And I got to say, I haven't had a migraine in like over a month. I wouldn't attribute that to the Sonic Pro, okay? Because I haven't had the Sonic Pro for a month yet. <coughs> Excuse me. But man, do I ever love this thing. Uh, sometimes I get like little tiny little twinges of a headache. But nothing that's like a migraine. Oh man, this feels so good. And uh, this comes with several different attachments. It comes with, uh, it comes with uh, this one that is like a muscle masher that I'm using right now, the flathead one. And it also comes with like one that you might be more familiar with. A uh, comes with a ball head. Comes with like a fork, a two prong fork, so that you can uh, do your uh, spine. And dude, this thing is just the best, bro. I wish I was like an octopus or had longer arms so that I could do like more of my own body. But uh, it just feels good like whether I'm doing it on my sides or uh, whether I'm like wrapping it around my lower back muscles. Like this is like, I love this right now. Oh, it's, oh my gosh, right here. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that feels so incredible. Feels so incredible. Oh, this thing comes with a bunch of... Let me turn this off. I could use this forever. I could use this thing forever. Unfortunately, I can't because the battery is a little bit limited in life. But 
still really great. Okay, the uh, the Sonic Pro comes with everything that you see here. It's going to be the Sonic Pro gun, the battery, eight different massage heads, some instructions, as well as an AC power plug, which I currently have plugged into my wall over here so that I can plug the Sonic Pro in later. Yo, are you in the chat listening to me right now? Have you ever used a Sonic? Have you ever used a percussion massager? I never did. I never did. I mean, I've been to the chiropractor where they like do it a little bit and you're like, why are you stopping that? But uh, yeah, dude, the uh, the Sonic Pro by Life Pro is pretty, pretty intense. And it's available today for one hundred dollars. And again, that's 17 percent off of its one hundred twenty dollar retail value. So a nice little deal there today. Uh, totally worth the hundred bucks. Absolutely. OK, now we're going to unbox a, a product that I have no idea what to even say about this. OK, so let's like to look at look at the, how big this box is, man. Ugh. All right, we got the box. We're going to cut it open with this steak knife <clears throat> right now. We're going to talk about the Life Pro Under Desk Bike Pedal Elliptical Machine. Um, I don't know nothing about this. I don't know nothing about this uh, because I'm not like focused on exercising. So let me actually just go ahead real quick here and grab a link to the product. And, um, and then that will help me talk about it a little bit more. Dude, we're only on. Pro oh, my goodness. We're only on product 15. Okay, of 25, and it's 10 2. We're cooked. We're going to be here for a little bit longer. All right, now we are talking about this one by Life Pro. Yes, okay. All right. Um, before we open the box, let's familiarize myself with this page. The under desk bike pedal exerciser with resistance bands, arm and leg mini exercise bike. Okay. They are stationary bike pedals designed for desk exercise, uh, you know, at desk exercise, foot pedal exercise, do, 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 do. $160 today with a $15 coupon. So that's not too bad. Life Pro weighs 20 pounds, comes in blue color maybe. I wonder if we got the blue one, dimensions. Our desk cycle is designed with precision with a precision flywheel that's ultra smooth and whisper quiet. <clears throat> so you can get a workout while you're at your desk watching TV or any other time. Bonus upper body equipment. Secure the included resistance bands to your machine or swap out the leg pedals for the bonus arm pedals to switch up your leg workout to an arm workout. All right, I think that's enough of that for now. Let's pop this open and do a quick unboxing on the show, and then uh, and then we'll do a demo with it another day. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, that doesn't open this way. Okay, no problem. Uh, how do we open this box? We just rip it open from the staples. Cut along. I just want to cut along these lines and try to prevent the box from being too damaged if I'm capable, you know? Because I do like to show the boxes on the shows. Uh, well, this box isn't very... Um, Aesthetically pleasing. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Maybe we better stand this up and open it. I wonder if I have it like upside down or something. Oh, uh, this is so much, dude. Okay, hold on. All right, so here's the pedals. Here's the resistance bands. 
Here's the styrofoam. Okay, that's not coming out. So how do we get this bad boy out of here? I think we're going to have to invert the box. Oh, no, we want this open. What am I doing? So ridiculous. Okay, so let's pop this open here real quick. I think we can get away with this. I I definitely know that this thing is upside down right now. Uh, hopefully it doesn't fall over. Okay, wish me luck this thing doesn't smash onto the floor. Okay. All right, let's put the box aside for a minute. Resistance bands fell on the floor. This is going to have like so much tape on it. But no disrespect, you got to pack it well, right? <clears throat> oh, okay, so this is going to be the mat. This will be the mat that you put on the floor to hold it in place. Okay, pretty thick, pretty thick mat. Uh, turn on the side and tilt. Yeah, I'm not a smart man. Okay, what else do we got here? There's so many parts on this that we're just going to take a look at the body of this out of the bag. And then it'll have to be something that gets built on stream another time. Because this is too much. This is just too much right now. But, uh... Looks like these might be the arm pedals. Looks like these might be the arm pedals. You can see how they're smaller and they kind of curve in a little bit. You put your arm there on that because we definitely have foot pedals here. We definitely have foot pedals here, right? Okay, let's drop these back in the box. And uh, all right, let's get this out of the bag real quick. And uh, it does look like we got the blue version. All right, we're not going to unwrap this any further than it goes. We're not missing much aesthetically here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's like a... All right, whatever. Oh, it's the display. All right. So there's the display on the Life Pro. Uh, what are we calling this one? Flex Cycle. The Life Pro Flex Cycle has a nice screen on the front of it. And it looks like it has the ability to have, uh, like it was saying earlier, the arm... The arm, um, the arm pedals, arm pedals, not a word that I say a lot, has the arm pedals as well as the included foot pedals. This is pretty big. Now, I can hold, lift it with one arm. Feels like heavy enough. You know what I'm saying? It's not the heaviest thing, but at 18 pounds, you could do a little workout with this. Holy. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm done there. All right, so this is kind of like the bare skeletal bones of what this thing is going to look like. I don't think it's going to look like much more when we add more to it, okay? I think that uh, I think that uh, it looks like it comes with legs that mounts here on the front and on the back to hold it in place, and it has that included mat. We can see that it has a resistance dial, uh, the tension control on the front of the device as well. So this looks really cool, really cool. Uh, this is definitely something that's going to have to be more permanently mounted under the, well, not permanent because at 18 pounds, it is really light and movable, but for floor space, I think we're going to have to put it literally under the other desk for now. <laughs> All right. So once again, then this is going to be just a not completely set up uh, version of the Life Pro Flex Cycle. We didn't put the legs on, okay? And we didn't put the pedal feet on. All right, now I'm glad to do that unboxing. And today, if you are looking, then the under desk bike pedal machine is available for $160. And also, again, there are resistance bands that attach to this. So you can do pedaling and do resistance bands as well. All right, I think we're going to set this one down here for now. And we're going to have to get all this tidied up after after the show so we'll just push that over there for now and uh let's move on to the next product now the next product that i got on my carousel here is the electric height adjustable desk by rad love i'm actually sitting at this desk right now 
It is a wonderful desk. And with only three people watching, we're going to move super quick through the Rad Love desk because we've all talked about it before and seen it here. Rad Love desk, very great. Voice, still breaking. Uh, I love that the desk has the adjustable electric height and that you can um, put it in any position that you want. You can show it in uh, feet, uh, excuse me, you can show it in inches or centimeters, the output display. And uh, it has a little rack on the bottom to, <clears throat> has a little rack on the bottom to uh, put like PSUs in it or whatever, like whether you have whatever you want, whatever you want. And it, at its lowest, it is 27 inches. At its highest, it's 45 inches, I believe. And this desk is 22% off of its $240 retail value coming in today for $186.88, which I think is all right. It's an all right deal for the desk today. Um, the desk supports up to 176 pounds up and down. How do I might just like fine? And then all of a sudden I get like so hot. Okay. Now let's keep it moving here. We're going to talk about, we already talked about EF EcoFlow. So I think the next physical and last physical on-hand product that I've got to talk about today is the Mars 2 Pro. Now the Mars 2 Pro is a 720p DLP projector that has uh, by Anchor Nebula. Okay. This is a Nebula line of Anchor projector. And uh, I love the Mars 2 Pro. It's it's a pretty fair size, like a, a small, fair size, compact unit, especially for everything that you get in this little box. All right. Uh, here it is here. The Mars 2 Pro is, like I said, a 720p DLP projector that features a built-in speaker and a built-in battery, which offers you great sound and up to three hours of projection time. It also features an Android 7.1 or 7.0 uh, operating system and has included Wi-Fi. So you can download your favorite streaming apps and stream with the Mars 2 Pro. The Mars 2 Pro is great for indoor or outdoor activities, has a nice solid rubber booty on the bottom of it to... Uh, <clears throat> has a nice solid rubber booty on the bottom of it to uh, hold it sturdy on a flat surface. And you can mount it to the tripod. You can mount it to a tripod. I don't know what's wrong with me, why it took me so long to say that. It has a HDMI and a USB input on the back, as well as a three and a half millimeter audio out jack and a, a port to plug it in to charge the battery. All the controls that you need are on the top of the device, but the Mars 2 Pro does include an infrared remote control as well and is capable of being controlled through the Nebula app, which is downloadable for free uh, in your favorite Google or iOS store. All right, $549.99 today for the Mars 2 Pro. Now everything else is B-roll. <clears throat> All right, let us go ahead and get ready to share our screen. We want to set up uh, we want to set up our screen share and we're going to talk about some b-roll videos and uh, so thank you so much to the product screen. Now let us prepare to present. Excuse me. All right, where are we at here? We are talking pluggable surge power protector. No problem. Let us share our screen and begin talking products, uh, B-roll products. Uh, okay, here, here, here. And then we'll make this just a little bit dark. And uh, all right, let's watch these videos now together. take a look at the pluggable 12 outlet power surge protector bar now this will protect you up to 4320 joules so actually pretty decent uh, it does have multiple usb ports right here you have two 2.1 amp usb charging ports uh, you then have several of these very cool regular standard outlet plugs with ground ports 
It's actually kind of cool. Uh, now, guys, this is a nice piece, nice and shiny and beautiful. Does have a power on and off switch over here, and does light up green all the way around when plugged in. Uh, if you guys need a 12 plug piece, guys, with this, it does have a six foot cable on it. Uh, two in one with circuit breaker switch, built in EMI, and RFI filter. Uh, this is actually quite cool, guys. If you guys need a power surge protector bar, pluggables got you covered with this 12 outlet one. I would thank you for checking this quick little video out. You guys have a great one. Thank you, James, for telling us about that pluggable uh, surge protector. I think I'm in the market for a surge protector myself. Uh, I got one that's not surge protected and it's super long. I've had it forever and it's great and everything, but I think I'm looking for something maybe a little more compact. All right. Now that pluggable surge protector is available today for $49.95. Now let's talk about the Holy Stone GPS drone here. I think we got a couple of quick drones that we're going to talk about. And uh, this GPS drone is available today for $240. Uh, and we're going to be talking about model number HS360. So let's get this little drone, this quadcopter video up, and let's watch it together now. As you guys can see, this is the Holy Stone HS360 brushless foldable drone with GPS. This is their new drone, guys. This is for six, ages 16 and up. This does have a two-axis uh, stabilization gimbal, plus it has GPS return home. And it also works in 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi transmission. Now, guys, this will record in 1440p or 2560 by 1440p on the card on hand. Or if you're using your phone, it'll record up to 4K at 3840 by 2160p, guys, and save you there. This has a 118 degrees field of view angle with an 80 degree adjustable camera. To We'll show you guys that in a second. Now, remember, guys, this works in required 5 gigahertz dual lane or 5 gigahertz first person view transmission delivery system. This also has auto follow me, auto take off and land, and auto return home, which is very cool. Uh, for a lot of drones, you may need that if you've ever had problems with just flying the little ones and have them flying away. So, inside here, guys, as you guys can see, we'll take the box off. You have the kit. We will turn it around. As you can see, it says Holy Stone right here. Nice little handle carrying case. This is everything you need for the drone. Now, we're going to pop this open and show you guys this. Now, you have about 43 minutes of flight time between the two batteries. Which is very cool. Inside here, you have a couple things. You have the padding, which shows you the controller, one of the batteries, and the drone. Now, over here All right, is let's where you'll find the, the user manual, right? Let us check Just out the Just the standard demo. user manual. Two axis gimbal. Demo. This of the Holy Stone. Oh, unfortunately, I can't do it this week because we have a uh, pretty bad wind winds lately. Bad wind prevents you from doing a nice demo for us, James. That's okay. You're an amazing product reviewer, and I appreciate you wholly. But I don't got... 10 minutes for this drone review with no demo. Uh, but the Holy Stone HS360 two-axis gimbal drone seems pretty sweet, offering you that ability to record at up to 4K uh, using your phone and whatnot. It seems really, really fun and an interesting product as well, okay, uh, to capture some great footage. I love trying to capture good footage, and the Holy Stone H, uh, excuse me, HS360 seems like it's worth my consideration. <clears throat> All right, $240 today for that drone. Now let's take a look at the next drone, which is going to be the HS420. And uh, this is just going to be a little guy that is traditionally $70, but today it is marked 43% off. And you can add this to your cart today for uh, $40. So let's take a quick look at this Holy Stone mini drone. A mini drone by holly stone the model is an hs420 it says age is 14 plus i'm over 14 so i'm sure i'll have fun with it here's the drone itself it it's pretty small but it does work pretty decent it does not like flying outside 
the camera on there. Looks like a headlight. Power button. We have a controller, the camera function. Uh, looks like that might be a flip button, automatic takeoff. I'll tell you what that one is here after a bit. Uh, to turn it on and off, you hold it for a few seconds. And it's on. There's your high or low setting. And then you can download an app, information provided in the instruction manual. And with the app, you can connect wirelessly to the drone. And this remote, hold your phone. Right, let's see if there's a demo here. This is a pretty person. standard thing. Put your phone you inside your case here. Let's give this a little mute real quick and jump ahead in the video and see. Uh, we're going to charge it. Okay, very nice. And then uh, where is the demo? Here we go. Here's a little demo. Let's check this demo out real quick. <laughs> it's only music on the uh, demo, so we can forego the audio. And, uh, yeah, this isn't too bad. I mean, the picture's a little bit grainy, but for a tiny little camera that is attached to a tiny little drone, just designed to have a little bit of fun, uh, you can't go wrong with this. The Holy Stone HS420 uh, is a great model number, and it's available today for $40. Now, this $40 price point is actually 43% off of its retail value, which is $70. So uh, can I put the can I put the vibrator on my balls? Uh, no, because the percussion is very, very intense. And I don't think that that type of percussion massage would feel good. So I mean, I don't recommend it. I don't think it's a good idea. And I suggest that you don't do it. Okay. Uh, just because like, I've had like some uh, I've had some instances with it where like uh, I might be like hitting like the bone, like maybe like my spine more than the fat in my neck or or like uh, if I do it in this area of my body, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I run it across my breastplate and like it just bounce, 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 bounce. And it can really like bounce into you if you're not holding it like I guess appropriately. So no, don't do that. You know, it's a dumb idea straight up. And if you do that, don't come back here and say you told me to do it because I'm being very clear and telling you don't percussion massage your balls. It's going to hurt. It's not going to feel good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So you got to watch what you're saying here. Now, I'm not necessarily referring to that specific part of my body, uh, the nipples. OK, but the breasts definitely uh, like pecs or breasts or whatever jokes you want to make about my body size but like all my upper chest, you know what I mean? All my upper chest with the percussion feels really good because I'm like larger maybe. So there's like fat here to kind of push in that massage kind of percussion. But when I put it on my bone, it like bounces on my bone. It's like it's a different density. So don't do it. I'm done. I'm done telling you not to do it. Don't do it. <clears throat> um, That would not be pleasant. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Can the drone hurt me? Well, I think like if you're not careful, anything has its risks, okay? But specifically with the Holy Stone drone, the GPS, um, excuse me, the GPS drone that we were just looking at, I'll re-highlight it really quickly. The model number is uh, HS360, okay? The, HS, the HS360 does have some um, un, unprotected blades, okay? Uh, the propellers are unprotected when compared to what I'm highlighting now is the uh, the HS420. The HS420 is a lot smaller, but it does have um, some propeller protectors around it. Maybe don't get this close to your hair. You know, you don't want to get your hair tangled up. <clears throat> can it injure me? No, I don't think that it can injure you unless you are misusing the product. Okay. So make sure that you familiarize yourself with all of the instructions and uh, and exercise due diligence and safety when operating drones, especially ones that have uncovered propellers, and especially if you're concerned about that type of potential injury. 
Okay, now let's keep it moving here. We're going to talk about the Fantic Evo 300. Let me get this video pulled up here. And uh, I love the Evo 300. There's a lot that I love about it. There's a lot that I don't like about it. But at the end of the day, uh, it's it's a great deal, especially if it's still – oh, it's not on deal anymore. It's $250 today. We just missed those great deals. But the Fantic Evo 300 is still a phenomenal device. I would say even at this $250 price point, so let's get into it now. I'm going to show you this video. The bad beast of a power station. This is the Fantec Evo 300. And this thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, before we get into the main unit itself, I'm going to bring you down here to show you the cool little box that Fantec comes with that has everything you need. Basically, this is how you're going to go ahead and charge your device. It comes with um, adapters that you can use it to plug it into your car and stuff too and uh, as well as a USB-C to USB-C um, because there are many ways to power this device now if you look right here what I think is really cool about the actual device itself is that it labels things in and out so that's how you know you can charge it so since this one right here is an in and out also uh, um, Tesla I got you just charging, give me a quick minute after this video and we'll talk about it actually we talked about the Fantic Evo a lot so we'll just mute Nikita and uh, yeah, so what I love about the Fantic Evo 300 is that it is a nice lithium ion battery. Now, there are other batteries that are arguably a little better uh, in, in uh, composition than the lithium ion battery, but the lithium ion battery is still a great battery. You clearly have your DC side and AC side clearly la uh, labeled on the, on the Fantic Evo 300. You have two grounded plugs, two USB A ports two USB-C ports, and two barrel connection ports, <clears throat> as well as a auxiliary power port, DC power port. Now, um, now, uh, what else I like about the Fantic is on the back of it, how it has the, where's the back? It has the emergency light and the ability to be, uh, connected to a solar panel, a really, really fantastic little uh, portable battery that can be yours today for um, $250. That's for $249.97. <clears throat> All right. Now, uh, Tesla, well, I do believe is moderately trolled, mildly trolling at best. Uh, I can show you the Exa headset and the KYY monitor. I'll do those both for you right now, okay? Let me make some room on my product table here. And then I will re-import my camera and I'm happy to talk to you about them, okay? So let me grab them both. You want to talk about the X uh, and the KYY? I got you. Okay, here's the KYY. Now, when you're saying EXA, when you're saying EXA, are you referring to the EXA E900s? or the Exa Air Comfy. Let me know which Exa product you're interested in. And uh, you want to see the headset and the monitor and the tag grease. I'll get you the tag grease too. Oops. <clears throat> uh, Vicious Vegan says there's a $50 coupon and 20% off promo on the on the uh, on the Fantic 300 on the Evo 300. That's awesome. So 50 bucks brings it down to 200, and then 20% is going to be what? Like another 40 bucks, right? Another 40 bucks. So what's that bring it down to? About 160. That's actually a really really great deal. You know, initially we were saying that the Fantic was 250. I didn't think there was a deal on it. Now it's like, basically, what did I just say? About $90 off. Not too bad. All right. Now for you, especially Tesla, let's talk about these products that you would like to hear about. And then we got a couple more B-roll videos that we got to cover before the show ends today. Now, the first thing that I see that I can talk to you about is the second item that we featured in our show today. And this is going to be the, uh, the Tagri X08. <clears throat> now I'm just going to leave these products here. It's a little unprofesh in my opinion, but please bear with me because uh, we have several of them on the table. Now, Tesla, if you're still in the chat, these are the Tagri X08. Okay. 
the XO8 uh, are a nice little pair of headphones that come in uh, several different uh, sizes. And I love that the purple color of the XO8 is uh, on the spine of the ear of the earbud and matches the battery case. Now, like a lot of pretty traditional sounding in-ear monitors or wireless earbuds like this, uh, when you pull them out of their case, they're immediately going to go into pairing mode. And once you pair these, then you um, once you pair the Tagri X08, you again, I, I, just, I saw you say thank you and it kind of threw me off what I was saying. So just to take it from the top, you get about six hours of playback with the earbuds, but you get up to like 24 hours additional or 30 hours additional playtime with the case that charges. The case charges with a USB-C connection on the bottom and has an included short USB to USB-C cable included. It also comes with a bunch of earbuds, so you can get the right size earbud that you need to keep. <coughs> Excuse me. You can put the right size earbud on the nozzle to keep those earbuds in your ear, uh, you know, the perfect fit for you. Also, what I enjoy about the Tagri is that you can see that there's 93% left of battery uh, built into the into the case currently, right? And that they are actively charging the headphones. Uh, if you don't like the periwinkle kind of purple color, I do encourage you, Tesla, click through the carousel. Just click on the item in my carousel and it will open up a product page for you. And uh, you can see the different colors that are available. I know I looked at this like earlier last week, I believe. And uh, I, I remember being quite smitten with the dark blue uh, color that is offered. But this periwinkle purple, while quite soft uh, in tone, is also very aesthetically pleasing. All right. Now, if you are going to buy these today, I see that we got to click through the carousel on them. Traditionally, these Tagri Bluetooth earbuds, they are available for $50. But with the 30% sale today, you can add these to your cart for $35. <clears throat> All right. Now, I didn't quite... I didn't quite catch you. Uh, do they have noise canceling? Also, how easily do they fall out? If I'm doing a workout, will they fall out? Uh, speaking of doing a workout, I believe that the Tagri X08 is IP65 water resistant. Uh, it's IPX5, okay? So it's IP5. So you can sweat in these, but you don't want to submerge them. Certainly not swim with them. Uh, and the transmission range for these from your source is going to be 33 feet. Music playtime, about six hours on a full charge. What was the question that you asked? Do they have noise canceling? Uh, I'll put them in and just tell you what I think about it, okay? But uh, I would assume that, like, for what it's worth, yeah, you know, because you're filling your ear with the with the, uh, with the the ear uh, with, the, with the silicone earbud. Because they definitely don't, like, offer pass-through audio. You put these in your ears, there's no, like, throughput and also the tagri x08s like a lot of popular uh earbuds they do support touch controls so uh you can read the manual to familiarize yourself with what to touch and when to touch it <laughs> you know what i mean in order to uh control this let me put on some uh music real quick Give me a quick second here. Did you put soothing? That's not what I typed at all. There we go. Let me play this audio. <clears throat> That's coming through my trivet speaker here. Audio is coming through my trivet speaker here because I want to understand the noise cancel. And it's like, I recognize that that has some really good bass in it. Uh, right now, all that bass is filtered out. And all I hear is pretty much just like the mids and the high end. Like you can hear the bass a little bit, but it ain't deep. So, noise canceling? Uh, I don't know about noise canceling, but the ability to jam these into your ears and block out some on one. Oh, yeah. 
take these out of your ears. It's like, obviously my ears are no longer obstructed. So I wouldn't claim ear environmental noise canceling. Okay. But definitely because you're plugging up your ears, they do stop some uh, sounds from coming in. All right. Now, <clears throat> let me drink this water here. And just from wireless charging, LED power display, portable charging case, built-in microphone. So you can take calls with these, smart touch controls, IPX5 waterproof, supports everything, iOS, Android, Windows, tablets, and smartphones with a standby time of 60 hours. Small and big ear tips are different sizes. They have small, medium, and large. They're going to have small, medium, and large. I believe that looking at these, it's going to be the small ones. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm not going to open these because I'll lose them, and I got so many, so I prefer not to open them if that's okay. But if we look at the back side, if you look, take a close look at the back side, you can see the two center ones that are stacked on each other. They're definitely looking larger in size than the two outside ones, which are looking much smaller. So I think these are medium and large sizes when compared to the ones that are currently installed uh, on them. But uh, a lot of people say that they have a hard time with keeping silicone earbuds in their ears. And I totally agree with that. Some of them can be pretty not good. But lately, I've found that a lot of the earbuds that I've had have been really great. And especially because uh, they send like multiple ear tips to put on the on the nozzle. <clears throat> so um, I see that you're kindly asking me to answer your questions. I hope that I am. I forgive me if I'm not answering them uh, quite fast enough. There is just a little bit of a delay between the chat and and me, right? So uh, uh, if you have any other questions about Tagri, I'll leave them here on the table. Please feel free to ask. But well, you did also want to see KYY. So let's talk about the KYY monitor now. And also, I'd like to ask you again, you said that you were interested in some EXA headset, but we have several EXA telecom and uh, EXA gaming headsets today. So if you're interested in the gaming headsets, are you interested in EXA E900s or are were you interested more in the EXA Air Comfy? Uh, let me know which EXA headset so I can grab it off the table for you. Tesla. And now I want to talk to you about the KYY portable monitor. Okay. I think this will autofocus here in just a moment. <clears throat> the uh, KYY portable monitor, first of all, should be highlighted in our carousel now. And before we even talk about it, I'll tell you about the price. It is traditionally $220. Today, it is marked down 36% of that price to $140. And when you click through the carousel uh, with the intention to add this to your cart today, don't forget to click on that additional $40 coupon, okay? So the KYY monitor today, while normally $220, is available to be added to your cart with all of these savings for $100. Massive, massive discount. And uh, I believe that there's like even another opportunity to save an additional 5%. I forget. Click through. Let me know if that seems interesting to you. All right. Now, I have it protected here in its cover, in its protected covering. Okay. The KYY portable monitor, let's jump into it. It is a 15.6 inch portable personal display. Okay. We're going to take it completely out of its case for a moment. <clears throat> I got some dust on mine. That's okay. This is it right here. This is the KYY. 15.6 inch 1080p resolution portable monitor. What I love about this monitor is that it's so light. It is not a touch screen, okay? But it has several inputs. It has two USB-C as well as a single mini HDMI input on it. It also has an audio out, okay? A head for three and a half millimeter headphone audio out jack. This portable monitor also features one watt speakers installed in it okay now included with the audio jack is a rocker switch that is designed to control the volume of those speakers as well as navigate on screen display and of course it has a power button to be turned on and off when you need it to be what i love the most about this is definitely um 
not I'll say what I love about it and then give you another option. What I love the most about this, and I say it all the time, is that it comes with an included USB-C, USB-C cable, dual USB-C. And you can plug a single cable into this monitor and then into me, my laptop, and I can put out power and video to this laptop with a single cable. I love that. And the battery, like the battery consumption is negligible at best. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't take too much power to utilize this. Now, granted, I do have my laptop plugged in most of the time and have power settings set to reflect that. But I can use this. Uh, I can use the laptop for like four hours. This is not going to take too much out of that overhead of a single monitor system. <sighs> okay. Now, not only is it all of those things that I just said, but uh, it does come with the protective case like I was talking about. We'll just set this down here. And uh, just pay close attention to this protective case, okay? Uh, it, it has several different folds in it, and all the folds represent different things, okay? So now this side is actually the back side. It has one large flap in it. Let's actually have our camera track us here. There we go. So this is the back side, okay, which is also the top side. I, I don't know exactly how you describe it, but it supports the back side of the monitor, and it has one big fold in it, okay? And the back of the monitor is magnetic. So we can put our monitor in our stand and lift our stand up, and it's good. The monitor is Excuse me again. <clears throat> Please so much excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. So anyway, not only is the back magnetized like I was just saying, but the front side also has the same ability to be magnetized. Okay. So we, uh, oh, what do I got here? Oh, I got a little gouge. This thing is starting to show a little bit of age. Oh, my goodness. Okay, anyway, these two strips here are magnetic. We fold the top part down on the bottom part. It's folded over, basically. And it creates an edge here that you can rest your monitor against for a very nice uh, landscape mode, okay? Now, unfortunately for me, the KYY protective case does not offer a portrait mode stand, okay? Some KYY monitors do, so if that's a deal breaker for you, I still encourage you to click through the uh, carousel and um, and uh, navigate through the KYY store and see what other options they have. They do have other monitors that have other stands, and they do have other portable monitors that are higher resolution, such as 4K monitors. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. Uh, we got to finish this show. My voice is shot right now. The KYY portable monitor, this 15.6 inch 1080p resolution, USB-C or HDMI mini uh, input monitor. Okay, excuse me. You can plug your phone into this if it's compatible to do as such. Uh, and that's great as well to make your phone look a little bit bigger. You've done amazing. Oh, thank you, Joanna. I just, I, I, I appreciate you. I got a lot of love for you and... Um, uh, I appreciate that. I was going to say like, oh, I don't need the validation. It's just a little sore. Th I, it's not even sore. It's, I, I just hear it like just sounds raspy. <clears throat> usually, usually I sound a little bit deeper. Maybe I'm talking at the top of my throat. Who knows? I sound like Steve-O. Yeah, dude. Yeah? Okay. All right, uh, Tesla, if you're still in the chat, then that is everything that I want to tell you about this KYY portable monitor. Don't forget that even though it's listed for $220, it is on sale today, 36% off for $140 and has that additional $40 clickable coupon. So be certain to add that to your cart and put the KYY 15.6 inch 1080p resolution multiple sources, you know, it's got two USB ports and a mini HDMI port. You can plug all three sources in if you want and use the rocker switch to navigate to the appropriate source. So I love that as well. It's very versatile, not just for portability, but for connectivity as well. All right. So unfortunately, Tesla hasn't said anything in eight minutes. And so I don't believe that I'm going to carry on with Exa headsets because 
I asked several times and didn't get a response in regard to which particular Exa headset. So let's carry on now with our B-roll videos. Where are we at here? We talked Holy Stone uh, Mini. We talked Evo. Okay, so we're on the Holy Stone HS700. All right, let's get this video queued up. And then that's it. We just got a couple more videos to watch here before our presentation is ended for today. We did a lot of talking. We're doing like a three-hour show today instead of a more traditional two-hour time frame. But uh, I haven't gone 40 minutes overtime in so long. Uh, I'm glad to be here hanging out with you all now. Okay, now with all the pleasantries taken care of, let's now watch this video for the Holy Stone HS700E 4K drone. This is their HS700E. This is a non-foldable drone, guys. So this is actually a full drone in the case, in the kit. As you guys can see, has independent ESC brushless motors and the 2.4 gigahertz plus 5 gigahertz first-person view if you guys really need. On the other side, it tells you about the electronic image stageability with the 4K Sony CMOS sensor. So yes, this does 4K video at 30 frames per second. It also does 4K pictures. That's cool. Also has the adjustable camera, which is 90 degrees up and down and 108 side to side with wide angle. This also does the same thing with follow me. You guys can set it to your phone. It will follow your phone and keep track of you. Just don't go faster than 15 miles an hour or it may lose signal. It also has point of interest like the other one. Now we're going to actually open this on camera. This thing I, they overnighted shipping me shipped me this guys and I want to thank them for that. Very cool for that. We're gonna unbox this live. So you guys are gonna see what I can see. I have not studied this enough, but I know enough. And I'm actually impressed again that I am dropping stuff. So inside here, guys, is actually a cane case. I love it that they give you the cases. Another hard shell case. Or, well, it's a soft slash hard, so it's a semi style case. Holder, their logo right there, HS Holy Stone. All right, so let's jump through this I video a little bit right since it's that. near the end of that today's show. Really? Let's see the drone. So, let's show you guys. There's that again. the remote. You get to put your phone you in it, of course. Pretty traditional. Uh, option for monitoring your drone. There's the drone. I think Couple of lights. Right up. Now this is like uh, James we'll said, a non-foldable drone. Battery, guys, so just remember and, that. Uh, let me turn this down. And uh, let's We're click through. Of instructions. It's going to be a little demo here because James is sitting at his desk. And you're on. But uh, that non-foldable drone is going to have a 4K pattern, camera and, and have GPS, which means it's going to be able to be like brought that. back to you pretty easily. And then it walks among in other place. features. So thank you so much, James, for telling us about the Holy Stone drone. We're going to stop tracking here and reset our camera. And Rover says, hmm, that drone would be nice if it would connect to your home network and be able to control it from a computer. I couldn't. Anything can be done, but I'm sure it's not like a an, an advertised feature. You probably have to be a little bit of a techie kind of person hobbyist perhaps is the right word to use if you wanted to accomplish something like that miranda butler miranda butler thank you so much for following us here on clown live my name is dragon blake or i'm the host of this show you can call me blake and traditionally we're usually done the show about 40 minutes ago but we're running long today so welcome if you can hear the sound of my voice then uh i i repeat welcome to today's show uh, thank you for following us and feel free to say hello in the chat. Also, I'd like to encourage you to take a look at the products that I have in my carousel. And if there's anything that you'd like to hear about, please let me know. I'd love to tell you more about it. Uh, I got nothing but time for engaged followers. Okay. So the Holy Stone drone HS 700 E is a 4k drone and it does have that GPS. Um, you know, James talked briefly about it while I gave a very, very shortened version of that video. The drone is available today for $300.
Now, let's click through this next video. I think this is going to be a 40-second Nate video. Let's watch it real quick before it ends. I've already loaded it. Oh, no, this is the longer version of the video. Okay, no problem with the longer version of the video. Let's watch it. At the top, as you can see, it has that anti-slip rubber on the top. So, it, you know, it gives a good grip. You can wear tennis shoes. You know, you can wear sandals or you can even be barefoot if you wanted to. Depends on your, how, how you feel about it. So it has an adjustable speed. It has one through 99 speed on there. And it also comes with a remote. Or you can just, you know, jump down there and press these little buttons right here to turn it on, to crank the speed up, and to set stuff. And All right, as right we there, do near the end of the really show, really in the interest you, of it, you I got a nice they, display. Four it's a nice little vibrating the board. It's a five-minute yeah, video. And you have timers right here. Turn the remote here. control so, so that you can vibe up. There, so you know your arms won't and, just be sitting uh, there. It looks like it comes with a jump rope as well. Right now it's on level one. And here's a quick demo of the Rumbler. You can just feel your whole entire body just shake and you can just feel all the pain pretty much getting released on in the honestly like my favorite video is, is of Nate to doing turn that off 40 second you just press the like power uh, button or you can like press that pause button like, if you want to continue uh, to do it sure if you need to that? go use the bathroom whatever but okay, yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you all right the life pro 3d vibration plate exercise machine has dual motors and is available at 10% off of its average re retail value. And that retail value is $250. So save 25 bucks today when you add the Life Pro 3D vibration plate to your cart. Save that 25 bucks to $24.99. $225 today. All right. Now, <clears throat> we did it, y'all. We're at the end of today's show. Let's watch this last video together and then we'll just talk a little bit more. Oh, yeah. I always forget how to do this. I always forget how to do this. I got to ask for the advice on how to do that again. Yeah, I got to manually look up the page, okay? Because of the way that my product page is set up, I sometimes can't click on links. But we can go to product page and click on videos. Heck yes. And then we can navigate to our Dragon Blogger video. And we got the three minute boy uh, by Dragon Blogger. So let's click on this and then. Yo, what's going on, guys? Nathaniel Here we go. Dragon let's Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Prolux CTX water filtration UV filtered vacuum. So this is going to be a vacuum vacuum that is going to trump anything else you have inside of the instructions they actually want you to test out your normal vacuum your carpet shampoo or whatever it is whatever you think cleans your carpets try that first and then go over the same area with the ctx right there so we're going to go ahead and vacuum a portion with the vacuum on the left and then the same portion with the vacuum on the right all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off by using my shark vacuum. Now, while I normally wouldn't think my vacuum is bad, you guys are going to see here in the video shortly that this vacuum is almost a scam in a way. People are paying so much for these expensive vacuums that aren't cleaning their carpets. Now, while you can see some carpet lines signifying it does have some suction strength, if I go ahead and continue on and just try these CTX, as you guys can see right here, you're going to notice that there is so much more power inside of the CTX by Prolux. Now, just taking a look at this, one of the cool things about this vacuum is that it has the light feature on it. That's really nice. So if you're one of those people that like to vacuum in the dark or early mornings, late nights, anything like that, and you just need a little bit of a light in darker areas, this is definitely going to be something that's really awesome for that. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up now. One other feature I wanted to talk about was the fact that this propels itself forward, making it a little bit easier to vacuum. Let's see the results. So one of the first indicators that the CTX by Prolux is incredible is the carpet lines that left. That signifies there's a ton of suction strength, so it's definitely going to be getting up all of that dirt, debris, dust, pollen, whatever. All right, so what I'm about to show you is pretty gross, so fair warning. If you look inside of the water area where you're going to store all of your water, you guys can see that right there, that water looks disgusting. And this is recently after going over my carpets with a carpet shampooer that uses water on the carpet to clean. So all right, this is my out, favorite part coming up when Nate dumps all so the like mud water next the video, to the toilet. Radio, watch. All of the other watch all the water that's still out. Shampooers I purchased in the past <laughs> have been a scam. You guys can see I don't know. It just makes me laugh every single time I see 
see but that. just look at how dirty and gross that water is that's all the dirt from your shoes being tracked in from dogs from pets really from whatever who knows what alien life forms are living in that water but going back to what i was saying about my vacuums feeling like they're scams this water is so dirty, and this is coming from somebody that vacuums every three days at minimum, and we even take the carpet shampooer to the carpets throughout the entire house at least once a month. But just looking at the inside of the bowl, you guys can see how much dirt this picked up, and that's doing that without actually applying any liquid to the carpets itself to extract it so the ctx by prolux works incredible i went back over it a couple more times after this video just to make sure that it was picking up more dirt and the water got clearer and clearer with each time that i did it so you definitely need to look into this so that's going to be it for today's video if you guys Thank need a vacuum you, that you know Dragon, is cleaning your Lana, carpets check out the ctx Nate, by prolux it is a lifesaver i think you guys will really enjoy it i'm Nate with dragon blogger vacuum there we go we pause that audio right there thank you so much nate for telling us about the Prolux CTX canister vacuum. I love when you pour the mud on your bathroom floor. This is probably one of my favorite product videos, my friend. Uh, and now he's going to have to see it again when he clogs the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now the Prolux CTX canister vacuum is available today for $1,000. Uh, and that's it, dude. We did it. We went 50 minutes overtime today. We did two hours and 40 minutes and 41, um, two hours, and we're just about to round 41 minutes here. So thank you, everybody, for joining me on this episode. Uh, the pleasantries should always continue no matter how long we've been live. So thank you, Rover, of course, and Joanna for joining the show today. Thank you, Miranda Butler, for following, and uh, to Tesla for asking about the other stuff that we had earlier. Thank you, Vicious Vegan, for joining us making a purchase, and then rejoining the show to talk to us even more. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, Amazon customer one, aka Chris, thank you for joining. I see a bunch of Tesla comments got hidden, so he must have got banned. Uh, Tammy Kelsey, thank you for following me here on Clown Live. If you're still watching quietly, I really appreciate you today coming out. Sean Jones, blue check mark. <clears throat> you're the goat homie thanks for engaging with me about the gathering of the juggalos and the festival stuff today simon thank you for coming out as well and talking about your purchase of the fantic v8 mate it's a really wonderful handheld vacuum uh and then oh we had thor at your door of course we had nate pop in today that was amazing uh nate honestly i haven't stopped thinking about you at all since you've been in the chat today so thank you for joining the show um and i think I think we're getting close to saying everybody's name that joined today. Thor at your door, if I didn't say your name. Thank you, of course, for joining the show. Always appreciate everybody coming out. Oh, Evans was my very first commenter today. Evans commented. Oh, Maximilian. Thank you, Maximilian, for joining the show today. Um, mm, 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 Evans, Evans. Okay, so we did it all. We did it all. I scrolled through all the comments. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's everything in the chat. I think I got it all taken care of. I'm going to do the outro now. We're done here, homeboy. All right. So, with that established, thank you, everybody, for joining me here on Clown Live. This has been an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I've been your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. And I'm going to be back tomorrow, Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a two-hour show tomorrow and not a big three-hour boy. But uh, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? As long as we're engaged, I'm happy to be out here hanging out with you all. Okay, so that's it then. Much clown love, everybody. Whoop, whoop. And we'll catch you tomorrow. Okay, bye, everyone. <laughs>